Optima Tax Relief. The experts at Optima specialize in a powerful IRS tax assistance program called the Fresh Start Initiative. And their clients that qualify are saving thousands. One call starts the process to stop the demand letters, stop aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS from targeting you. But don't delay. It's important to act now while you still have options. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Optima has already resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get your life back. For tax help you need, for tax help you can trust, call Optima now for your free consultation. Call 800-730-2885. 800-730-2885. 800-730-2885. Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Chris Canty and Chris Carlin are Canty and Carlin. Bob Sala always says, all gas, no brakes. That's exactly what it looked like in the second half, especially with the defense. And we got to give some credit to Mike LaFleur because he did a great job of carving up that Joe Barry-led Packers defense. And that veer play that he ran, the, the fake toss to Michael oh, Carter, it. and that inside handoff to Brees Hall for the touchdown, yep. that's an outstanding play design, Carlin. Those are the little wrinkles that don't show up on the stat sheet, but they make all the difference in terms of putting your guys in positions to be successful. And that's what we're seeing this Jets coaching staff do. For the first time in a long time, Carlin, I can say this, the New York football teams are both really well coached. And in a league where we're seeing a lot of parity and only a couple of elite teams at the top, there's no reason why we shouldn't change the expectations for both of these teams now that we're at this point through the first third of the season. Canty and Carlin, weekdays at 3 Eastern on ESPN Radio. You can also listen and watch on the ESPN app. Everyone is ready for Monday Night Football because you have to be ready to make a statement. Chicago is ready to bear down. They play hard. We play harder. Each and every play. The Patriots are ready to do their job. That's exactly what we want to do right there. The Chicago Bears square off with Belichick and the Patriots. Ready for football. Bears Patriots tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. And you can watch Peyton and Eli's take on the game on ESPN2 and ESPN+. The NFL on ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio. From breaking news and in-depth analysis. Breaking news. You and I are going to find out together what it is. To the biggest names in the league. Arthur Smith, Falcons head Blaise coach. Campbell, six-time Pro Bowler. Tom Gilmore, Indianapolis Colts. Good morning. How you doing? Plus, daily fantasy and gambling insight. Five-star hammer play right there. If it's happening in the NFL, hear it here. It all starts with Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. And continues all day right here on ESPN Radio. Come for all the glory. The celebration in Pittsburgh. All the guts. All the new eras. All the old beefs. This is what rivalries are all about. All the Hail Marys. Walls it in for six. All the hallowed ground. There is no environment in football like Blacksburg. All the devotion. All the feels. Come for it all. Watch ACC football all season long on ACC Network and streaming live on the ESPN app. Coming up Monday, the Patriots are getting ready for a Monday night matchup. Should it be Bailey Zappi, a.k.a. Dr. Z, getting the start? I'll tell you what I would do on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, Monday at 6 a.m. Eastern, ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Sundays mean you're just one day away from the latest with First Take. Rest up, because I'm bringing it starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, only on ESPN and the ESPN app. Major League Baseball's playoffs will continue several hours from now. National League Championship Series up first. Philadelphia leading the Padres 3-1, hosting San Diego in Game 5, 2 p.m. Eastern for the coverage right here on ESPN Radio. In the American League, it's the Astros up three games to none on the Yankees. Shutting down that Yankee lineup, limiting the Bombers to three hits Saturday night. A dominating postseason for the Astros so far. They're 6-0. Houston manager Dusty Baker says it's all about taking advantage of the breaks. That's what the game's about. If you can, I mean, you can't always capitalize on it. I mean, you know, you try to, it's a thought process, number one. I and mean, you think a, a walk or air or whatever it is, that's a break. And and uh, even though it may not be, you have to kind of fool yourself that it that is, is a break. 
That's Astros manager Dusty Baker. Astros and Yankees, 6.30 p.m. Eastern for the coverage right here on ESPN Radio. College football from Saturday, number five, Clemson rallies, holds off number 14, Syracuse, 27-21 for a 38th straight home win. LSU over number seven, Ole Miss. Number 10, Oregon hands ninth-ranked UCLA its first loss, beating the Bruins 45-30. And number 11, Oklahoma State, East number 20, Texas, 41-34. In the NBA, four players dropped at least 40 in a game on Saturday. Three of them were on winning teams. The loser... Joel Embiid is 40 points and 13 rebounds. Not enough for the Sixers to win at home over the Spurs. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Nick, what the hell is Brady doing, man? I don't know. Somebody asked him a question. Yeah. Are you going to retire midseason? That was a stupid question. I mean, that's a dumb question. Get more from the guys Monday morning at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN2. This is the best week ever with Peter Burns and Katie George on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Happy Sunday morning to you. Best week ever on ESPN Radio. No Katie George, Courtney Cronin. Just giving us the insights of egg cookers, uh, alarms that you can have of why the Packers need to be uh, movers and shakers in the NFL trade deadline after this week. All of that. You can follow her on Twitter at Courtney R. Cronin, at Peter Burns ESPN. But it is a monster week eight in, around the world of college football. And let's get into this game right now. Clemson survives Syracuse. And I thought a really interesting uh, kind of interview with Molly McGrath afterward with Dabo. Uh, take a listen on the quarterback situation. Well, sometimes, you know, Steph Curry goes, you know, two for 25. You, your best player sometimes can have a bad day. And he just, you know, got out of rhythm, made some bad plays. And, you know, we just need to change. And so we showed we got that guy that can come in here. DJ's our quarterback. There ain't no question about that. That's our guy. That's our leader. Now, you can write that right now. DJ's our guy. Now, he's got to play better, and he will. But how about K Club to come in there and lead these guys? So, And this guy right here, what a great job. So Clemson survives against Syracuse 27-21. to The fighting Dino Babers gave them a little bit of run for their money, but it was Clemson's defense that really showed up, Courtney. But what did you make of, of Dabo's postgame presser with, uh, with Molly there? It was smart for him to get ahead of it the way that he did because that was going to be the question that everybody wanted the answer to, whether Cade Klubnik was now the guy and whether DJ Uwe had lost his job more than just for – the amount of time that he was pulled for the Syracuse game. And when we were talking with Heather Dinich, ESPN college football reporter earlier here on ESPN radio, I thought she brought up a really good point because for now it's the right move to give DJ Uyangle his job back. But if this team that's running away with the ACC, they're eight and zero right now, they might be on the cusp of the college football playoff. Can you win the college football playoff with quarterback yeah. play from DJ Uyangale? I think the resounding answer there, as you said, is no. I, I'm just not sold on Clemson, regardless of who the quarterback is going to be. Because Kate Klubnik may be that guy. He, dude, he may be a Trevor Lawrence type guy two or three years down the road. But there's nothing that I look at Clemson right now. And I've, I've seen some Clemson teams and some overrated teams make it this far in, in, in college football and think, listen, that they're fraudulent. Clemson's not fraudulent. They're a very good team. But to win a national championship, I don't think it's DJ Uangalale. I don't think it's Cade. I don't think they have that quarterback. I just don't think that that is a very complete team. In fact, I actually like this team a little bit more because of the way that they're trending. That is the Oregon Ducks. Listen to Jerry Allen from Learfield IMG on the call. Sick. Wants the snap. Got it. Back to throw with time. Throws. Punt. Maybe. Could be. It will be. Touchdown, Oregon. Bucky Irving. Could be. Might be. Maybe it is. Ducks. And again, Dan Lanning's first game could not have been any more of a disaster, right? They lost like 175-3, to three, I believe, to the Georgia Bulldogs. But since then, they've revitalized themselves. And 
How about Bo Nix? What what a great thing the transfer portal is for so many different stories. And we read these bad headlines in each and every week. Oh, this guy's transferring this, and the game is completely different. Bo Nix had to deal with a bunch of different offensive coordinators at, at Auburn, had to bunch of deal, deal with a bunch of drama, now having his opportunity monster second quarter, five touchdowns, Courtney. It was great to see Bo Nix shine. Talk about somebody who's been able to reinvent themselves, and especially even reinventing himself following the Georgia loss to start the season. It may sound a little nuts, but he's playing himself into the Heisman conversation. Of course, we're going to look at C.J. Stroud being the favorite right now. It's very difficult to repeat, even though Bryce Young is still in the mix. But I think if Ohio State falters against Michigan and Oregon runs the Pac-12, he could very very well end up being a top three candidate for the Heisman by the time this thing ends, considering how well he's played this year. 1,800 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, only three interceptions. It's amazing what a change of scenery can do. Think about Oregon now. They'll only have to play Cal. Okay, should be a victory. Colorado should be a victory. Washington, now they do face Utah a little bit late into the season, second to last week. And, of course, they have Civil War against uh, Oregon State over in Corvallis. So the Ducks starting to line up things uh, just right for them. All right, a team that I know is supposed to be pretty good. I know they're undefeated. I know they finally got another victory and come from behind. I still can't believe in them. But listen to Brian Estridge for Leofield IMG on the call. Talk about TCU. Dug and play action to throw it. Looking left, deep ball. has got Quentin Johnson breaking free. Get there, ball. It does. Here's Johnson to the five. Touchdown. Hit the horn. 55-yard strike. Dug it to Quentin Johnson. Horn Frogs retake the lead in the third. I don't think they're great, but they're fun as hell to watch. Mostly because they get in such a big hole that they have to dig themselves out. And Sonny Dykes does a great job as making these adjustments. They were down 28 to 10 yesterday against K State. K State had about 43 different injuries right around halftime in that game. And then TCU scores 28 unanswered. Remember, they were down 17 to Oklahoma State as well. Four straight ranked win for the Frogs. But does, like, when you watch them, and even watching Oklahoma State beat Texas, Courtney, do you get that same feeling that you get watching Ohio State, watching Georgia, hell, Tennessee right now? No, and I don't know if there's any sort of Big 12 bias or maybe any sort of bias I have on the Big 10, the SEC, other conferences where I'm not completely sold on TCU just yet. But... If they continue to play this way, and, and we've talked about it, they they have the best chance of any team in the state of Texas to get to the college football playoff. They're seven and zero right now. I can't I can't not put them in that conversation, but I'm not entirely sold yet. I will you feel tell good you, about it. I feel dirty about it. I, I feel do. Like, I do. But and it's since I'm an NFL person, I feel pretty good about Quentin Johnson being a top fifteen pick next year, the wide receiver for TCU. Oh. He is so good, Peter. So, can he play for I the mean, Packers right now? Can the Packers? Could, could he, he probably could they wouldn't start. Even, yeah, they wouldn't even need the trade deadline talk that we've had here on Best Week Ever if they had <laughs> Quentin Johnson on their team. But I do have a question for you because I've yes. seen those shirts. Is it hypnotoad or hypnotoad? Like, Hip, hypnotoad, like, like the hypnotist. I guess that's what Sonny Dykes and those guys are doing. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, because It's not even like they clawed back slowly. Just in the top of, or in the bottom of the first, this team absolutely explodes on their own, and they take care of business. They just get unbelievably hot against Clevenger. You see Bailey Falter go four earned runs and only two outs recorded. You would have won a lot of money if you had bet that Clevenger was not going to go further than Bailey Falter, and yet he doesn't get a single out in the contest before going ahead and surrendering three runs and another hit. To, uh, to set up what was the tying run. like it, it was just an incredible bounce back. And from that point, the bullpens were on full display. And the Phillies' bullpen was great last night. Outside of the home run to Juan Soto in the fifth inning that we talked about, the bullpen was incredible. There it is. They're showing it up on, on the TV screen right now. Syndergaard, Robertson, Eflin, really, really good. Brad Hand, of course, gives up the home run. But, I mean, got... Uh, enough of the job done, yeah, I guess. Brogdon stepped up yeah. huge for you. Brogdon, goes two and yes. a third. Uh, only one hit allowed, two strikeouts. And a guy, that, that's a guy in Brogdon where people were ready to kick him to the curb. Why is he on this roster? He's giving you absolutely nothing. Rob Thompson continues to trust his guys, have faith in his guys. He goes out there. And, man, listen, it, 
if Brogdon goes out there and struggles early and the Padres keep adding on and instead of being four to three, it turns into six to three, turns into seven to three because Brogdon just doesn't have his stuff that night. That game unravels and who knows if we have the same result. So Brogdon going out there stepped up huge. Andrew Bellotti has a scoreless inning, hitless inning, perfect inning with two strikeouts as well. Besides Brad Hand, the bullpen steps up huge in a night where Connor, you don't use Sir Anthony Dominguez. You don't use Jose Alvarado. Your starter goes out there, can't get through the first inning. You're down 4 nothing in the first inning. And you don't use your two best relievers. And I know they it, they probably weren't available. I know Dominguez for a fact. Even whatever Rob Thompson said, I couldn't see him being available. Alvarado could have thrown. Yeah, probably. But the fact that you didn't have to use your top two guys in a bullpen game where you were down 4 nothing, and you come away with the win... That's just how incredible this baseball team has been this entire postseason, and they're just finding different ways to win. They can win a 2 nothing game in Game 1. They can win a 10-6 game in Game 4 when they're down 4 nothing in the first inning. This team never quits. They never give up, and that ballpark was incredible last night and had a big part. Obviously, the players have to go out there and play. The pitchers have to go out and pitch. The fans yesterday, keeping that juice alive, being behind that baseball team, keeping those runs going, they were incredible last night. And it's just, man, this team has a certain feel to it. A certain feel where it's cliche, team of destiny. It really feels like it with this baseball team. It really does. This team feels like a team of destiny type baseball team, the way they're winning baseball games. It absolutely is. And they're just finding every way to win. And Listen to this, right? Because for me, Coming into the postseason, one of my biggest questions was the depth of this team, especially pitching-wise. You got, like, three relievers you really trust. What happens when you go to four, five, six, seven, those other guys yep. in the bullpen that were not bad for the, you this year, had their moments, but uh, they are not proven playoff pitchers. They're not great bullpen pitchers. They're guys that you're okay with going out there. What happens with And that? how are they going to look in a high-leverage situation like the MLB playoffs? Exactly. And... What is your starter depth? Because Ranger Suarez, I, I know Aaron Dole has never started a playoff game before this. Uh, I don't believe Zach Wheeler has either. Yeah, so uh, w- we know, though, those guys are veterans. They've been around long enough. They pitch in high-pressure spots. Sure, absolutely. But Ranger Suarez really hasn't. Nope. Uh, and then who else do you have? Well, Noah Syndergaard, we don't know what he is. He uh, has Bill, in the playoffs before, but that was... No, but an, we don't know new, what he is now. This sure, is absolutely. different Noah Syndergaard. Correct, Post-surgery, yes. Noah Syndergaard yes. is a, a different guy. And then... We don't know how Bailey Falter's going to do. We don't know if they go bullpen game, how that Kyle works. Kyle Gibson, what's going on with him? Absolutely. So many questions coming the, in. The depth of the pitching was my biggest concern coming into this playoff. So let me, let me read you a little stat here from uh, Corey Seidman, who does great work on NBC Sports Philadelphia in the broadcast there. The Phillies, this postseason, are 4-0 and oh in games not started by Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nolan. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a pretty good recipe for success there, Connor. They, they haven't lost the game that one of those top two haven't started. So, because of that, I'm saying Aaron Nolan and Zach Wheeler should not start if they make it to the World Series. No, yeah, just no, no, no starts kidding. from your top no. two guys. And, of course, you're winning games with those guys as well, but it's just you have two of the best pitchers on the planet right now, and you're undefeated in games that they don't throw. And you have a great top of the lineup and the best hitter on planet Earth in Bryce Harper, and the bottom of the lineup comes through a bunch. Well, that's the biggest thing is the bottom of the lineup steps up in game three on Friday night where you get two doubles from Bryson Stott. Alec Bohm has a big uh, RBI. Gene Segura has a roller coaster game but has some huge plays for you. They step up for you in a game. Ranger Suarez obviously steps up as well, but the bottom of the lineup steps up in game three. You turn right around game four. That's when you need your heavy hitters to step up. And what do they do? They go out there and absolutely are ready for that challenge, are ready for that moment. It's the different types of ways this baseball team is winning. It's everybody getting involved in these wins. Andrew Bellotti, as we mentioned, Connor Brogdon, Noah Syndergaard, Bailey Falter, even though he didn't pitch that well. It's fine. He's still out there and contributing to an extent. It's the way they're getting this thing done that makes this have a – we said it before the show. This team just has a different different feel this year. That's been true for 95% of the season other than that little stretch towards the end of September or whatever it was. This team has an absolutely different feel this season, and we are one – win away from the freaking World Series, Connor. We absolutely are. Now, I am not going to talk about the A word. I'm not going to talk about that team that's that's over there that currently has a 3-0 lead. Yeah, on, we still have business to take care of here. Because we're not there yet. Yeah, focus right now is on 2-30 today and Zach Wheeler start against the San Diego Padres. So this is not specifically in relation to 
the A team over there. And that's only because their name starts with the A. The A team plays in Philadelphia. But this is just a general question, and we'll use it in the frame of the Padres, and we'll have plenty of time to turn our, uh, turn our attention west if and when the time comes. I'm going to ask you a question, Tom. Sure. How do you beat this team? If you're an opposing team right now, what is the recipe for beating the Philadelphia Phillies? Um, well, if they're at home, the Phillies, you have absolutely no chance. You shouldn't even show up if you're a visiting team, if the Phillies are playing at home, because no one is going to beat them in that ballpark. I, I just can't see it right now, the way the fans are and the way this team is playing behind those fans, right. in front of those fans, whatever you want to say. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, there's no good answer. They're what? What now? Seven and two in the playoffs? Yep. That's pretty pretty damn incredible from a team that shouldn't have been there to a lot of people. The third wild card getting in. So, listen, I don't know because they can do it in so many different ways because you have different guys step up in different situations. You go out there and have a pitching disadvantage the last two days. Listen, I, I think Ranger Suarez outpitched Joe Musgrove the other night. I would rather have Joe Musgrove on the bump for my baseball team. That's just me. You can call me crazy. Whatever. I think Joe You're Musgrove crazy. is a better yeah. pitcher than Ranger Suarez. He goes out there and you win that game and he wins that game. Then yesterday, where you have Bailey Falter, and listen, Falter, Falter pitched well down the stretch. You're only getting three innings out of him, and then it's a bullpen game. At max three innings out of him, and then it's a bullpen game after that point. They have Mike Clevenger, who we know isn't, isn't exactly all that either. He goes out there and puts up an absolute dud. Pitches worse than Bailey Falter. Can't even record an out yesterday. But, again, I think on paper, the Padres have the pitching matchup advantage in, the, in that situation two days in a row. Right. And you go out there, and you... Listen, you do, especially last night, you absolutely dominate that baseball team. So, to answer your question, I don't know how teams beat this baseball team. Don't play at home. Don't play them at home. Excuse me. That's the only way. So you it still might not work. You can't play them at Citizens Bank Park. You you, you just can't. They're too good. They're, that environment's too tough. For my money, Zach Wheeler's the best pitcher on the planet right now. I know some people take Verlander. Some people take Cole. Some people take... Uh, I don't know, you Darvish, who knows? It depends on your allegiance, what you like, and everything like that. The way I'm looking at it, though, Verlander kind of had that game against the Mariners where he got touched up a little bit early, the Astros' first game of the uh, of the uh, postseason. The Padres, I mean, you, you've seen what the Phillies have done against their starters. I know they, they had uh, a good start for you, Darvish, but he gave up the two solo home runs, and that ended up being the difference. Uh, like, I... I don't know, man. Zach Wheeler just every single time, he's a machine. He hasn't even had one of those starts where he looks susceptible to being beat. And if you beat Zach Wheeler, well, then you got Aaron Nola coming down the pipe next game. And on top of that, they're 4-0 and in games that those two don't start. You have the best player on planet Earth batting 4-10 in Bryce Harper. That you, you just, there's no way to get around him. That he is completely locked in right now. Because on either side of him, you have JT Romito, who's the best catcher in baseball easily and is also incredible. JT in the postseason, he's only batting 216, uh, but like he's been incredible this series. But that swing Got last night, runs. I could see that being a swing that gets him going. The, exactly. And that's another great part about last night, real quick, is that you get big home runs from Schwarber, Hoskins, Real Muto, and Hoskins and Real Muto were struggling. And you could even look at Schwarber's average, but he's been playing better than those two. Right? They hit home runs last night. Does that get them in a groove? So the guys that were struggling in your lineup that already is one win away from the World Series, if you have those two guys get hot as well, oh my God, what are we talking about here? I'm going to read you the names of guys with stats listed for this postseason at the dish. And you tell me which ones haven't had a big at-bat for this team. Reese Hoskins, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Bryce Harper, yeah. Yeah, a couple of them. Nick Castellanos, for sure. Yep, game one against the Braves, absolutely. JT Romito, absolutely. Yep. Alec Bohm, yes. Yep. Kyle Schwarber, uh, yes. Yeah. Gene Segura, yep. definitely. Bryce Stott, sure. Yep. Brandon Marsh, yes. Big home run. Edmundo Sosa, yes. Matt Vierling, maybe the only one not, and he had a big hit in uh, the uh, first inning in uh, what game was that? That was game three, right? Uh, I believe was, so, yeah. Which part of that, part head, of that but... start? <clears throat> it's just, it's everybody. There's, there's no let-up in this lineup, and I get there are guys that are like, uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, you're looking at Kyle Schwarber, he's still batting 206. you You're looking at uh, Bryson Stotts batting 192. Brandon Marsh, 174. Like, the average isn't great, but it, it's like Bryce Harper will get a hit three times, and then when Bryce Harper gets out, 
Brand, uh, Brandon Marsh hits a home run. Well, and then if or you're Bryce like, Stott has a huge. Event. If you're an opposing pitcher, you're not. You don't see Kyle Schwarber go up there, and and you're thinking to yourself, "Oh, he's batting 200. I got him here." No, you're going. That's Kyle Schwarber. That dude can hit a ball 488 feet at any given moment. Bryson Stott. You don't look at his 190 average if you're opposing pitcher when he steps up. You go, "No, that dude had two doubles the other night and continues to just grind out at bats in huge situations. Can hit the ball all over the field. So, batting average be damned at this point in the season. Opposing pitchers fear this Phillies lineup from 1 to 11, honestly, at this point because of how the bench players have been performing lately as well. So you can't beat them at home. You can't beat their top starters. The other guys starting games are undefeated in the postseason so far. The lineup top to bottom is playing really, really well. You have the best hitter on the planet. And if all of that is not enough, you're looking at a bullpen in the Philadelphia Phillies that if you get to the if you get to the eighth inning, it's over. Who, who would have thought we would be saying that? First off, who would have thought we'd be one win away from the World Series uh, here on October 23rd, 2022? But who would have thought we'd say, oh, yeah, and you get to the eighth inning, it's ball game. It's, it's, It's over because you have Jose Alvarado pumping 140 miles an hour from the left side. It's unbelievable with the Not nastiest, quite that high, but yes. nastiest cutter since Mariano Rivera. Okay. And then you have Saranthia Dominguez throwing 150 from the right side with the nastiest stuff on the team. Who is so back, by the way. Very, he stepped very up in the biggest moment. He was struggling a little bit after he comes back from injury. Didn't quite look himself. He is completely back. Jose Alvarado has been absolutely nails. Other than that two-run homer against Cardinals, but whatever. Home runs are going to happen every now and then. You're completely right, man. You get to the eighth inning with these two guys who are fully available and ready today because they didn't pitch at all yesterday, as I mentioned. Ah, I'm feeling really good right now, Connor. Really, really good about this baseball team. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that is feeling no. that way. No, you're not. So I'll ask, uh, I'll ask you again. And this one's a rhetorical question. How do you beat this baseball team? You don't. 610-632-0975. Now, coming up, I want to talk about the run. And I want to talk about the characteristics of the run because this is magical. We've talked about it in the past that this is not one of those, oh, they were a juggernaut all season. We saw this coming. This was a flash once the playoffs started that all of a sudden this team was who we thought they could be and more. And we'll talk about the characteristics of the run and what it says about who they are. We're also going to talk to Paul Nolan for free winners coming up and uh, get his picks for the NFL slate this weekend. Eagles on a bye week, so a great time to make some money on the other games. We've got all that coming for you. A packed program and so much Phillies talk still to come. 610-632-0975. It's Connor Thomas. It's Tom Alvord. We're right back with you here on 97.5 The Fanatic. 97.5 The Fanatic. I love betting on the NFL. Hey, it's Jen Scordo. I'm always finding new player or game props. And what's cool about FanDuel Sportsbook in partnership with Valley Forge is you can combine these props with other bets from the same game to score an even bigger payout. Perfect for Sunday's game. Our own home team is on their bye week, so let's build a same game parlay around the Browns and Ravens game. It's a big rival game. Lamar on the overpassing yards, of course, and the Ravens to cover, and a Kareem Hunt anytime touchdown. I like it. Same game parlays, just one of the reasons that I love to bet with FanDuel. It's so easy to use. If I can do it, so can you. They always have awesome odds boosts, lots of great specials, and you can pay really fast. If you're new to FanDuel, get up to $1,000 in free bets if your first bet doesn't win using my promo code SCORDO. That's promo code SCORDO. And make every moment more with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of the NFL. 21 plus and present in PA. First online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable free bets that expire 14 days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800- Dr. Trudy Fleer here with the 5G Home Recovery Podcast. Let's discuss a very real existential threat to internet speed. It's a big one. Ready? T-Mobile Home Internet. It lags. Now what is lag? Lag is a delay in data being transmitted across the internet. For example, you're hitting that hot drop, the parachute cuts out, you've got an unsuspecting bot in your sights, and lag! You were actually eliminated 10 seconds ago. Nobody deserves that. So stop letting T-Mobile Home Internet ruin everything and switch to Xfinity. Learn more at Xfinity.com slash t Get Xfinity Internet with unlimited data included for just $29.99 a month for two full years with no annual contract required when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com slash TMOFAX, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, ends 11 14 Restrictions apply. New Performance Pro Internet customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. 
Xfinity Mobile requires post-pay Xfinity Internet. After 24 months, regular rates apply. Fall is finally here. Summer's in the rear view and winter's on the way. Pretty soon, temperatures will start to drop while your utility bills will start to rise. Fortunately, saving season is finally here, too, with special financing offers and rebates on a new high-efficiency heating and cooling system from Train, including a whole house air filtration system to keep the air you breathe clean and safe. Visit Train.com to find an independent Delaware Valley Train Comfort Specialist near you. It's hard to stop a train. Subject to credit approval. See dealer for details. No one ever asked insurance companies for jingles or mascots. But NJM listened when people asked for savings and better service. Upgrade and you could save an average of $702 a year on auto insurance. With a company known for five-star service, that's five stars more than any jingle or mascot. No jingles or mascots, just great insurance. Get a quote at NJM.com. Figure reflects average annual auto insurance premium savings on a national basis for applicants who reported their prior premiums and switched to NJM between 531.21 and 531.22. At my age, I never dreamed I'd be dealing with opioid addiction. I was pregnant and I couldn't stop. Getting sidelined by an injury was bad, but the cravings were way worse. Then I heard about 844-REACH-NJ. They connected me to treatment and I had a healthy baby. 844-REACH-NJ was the call that made the difference. Thank goodness I made the call. So glad I made the call for both of us. Reach NJ. If you or someone you love is struggling with addiction, call 844 Reach NJ from the New Jersey Department of Human Services. Need new tires? CJ's Tire and Automotive is ready when you are. They'll get you in and out in no time. And right now, through November 6th, you can get up to $100 back when you buy a set of four select hand cooked tires. Hand cooked tires provide smooth handling and enhanced driving comfort. They are built to last longer and increase fuel efficiency. No wonder hand cooked tires are one of CJ's best sellers. With thousands of tires in stock, in 17 convenient locations, CJ's has tires that anyone can afford. CJ's Tire and Automotive. Better, faster, and more affordable. Hey guys, it's Andrew. If you're getting engaged this year, Family & Company is the only place to go. They have the largest selection of designer jewelry, the best service, and the best prices. And listen up. Now through FanFest, they're giving away a $500 gift certificate to three, not one, not two, but three lucky listeners to use toward her fantasy engagement ring from Family & Company Jewelers. Sign up to win on the contest page at 975thefanatic.com. So start shopping now and see my man Angelo at the showroom and tell him I sent you. Family Company Jewelers, South Jersey's diamond destination. Hi, I'm Adam Flager. At Flager & Associates, we've specialized in personal injury cases for more than 30 years. Experience matters and we have it. In fact, other lawyers refer their injury cases to us. Insurance companies respect us and know we're committed to getting top dollar for every client, no matter what it takes. Our clients can put their energy into getting well again while we handle the rest. Have you been injured? Call for a free case evaluation. 215-953-5200 or visit flagerlaw.com. That's F-L-A-G-E-R-L-A-W.com. Okay, three more climbers, seven loggers. Plus... Ted's sustainably sourced logging company is growing a new branch. What about truck driver contracts? Which means a new HR manager will be the first hire to fall. Uh, then we'll need to staff up the warehouse. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. At Progressive, you can get 24-7 protection, even if you break the space-time continuum. Ted, wake up. Huh? You look exactly like me. I am you, Ted, from the future. You need to call Progressive. What? Why? Well, they have 24-7 protection when you bundle your home and auto. And my teleportation cube just smashed into your car. Wait, you crashed into my car? Technically, it's our car. Progressive offers more than a great price when you bundle home and auto. We offer round-the-clock protection, which literally means anytime. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers and subject to policy terms. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. Hey, Sixer fans, it's Matt Cord for the Bet Parks app, the official winning partner of your Philadelphia 76ers. The Bet Parks app is fun to use. Build around on what you want right from your phone. It's easy to sign up, great customer service, and faster to win than ever before. Download the Bet Parks app today. The Bet Parks app, the official winning partner of your Philadelphia 76ers. 
76 says... See website for terms and conditions. Must be 21 and in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem 1-800-GAMBLER. Parks Casino. This is how you win. Dance all night long. Friday, October 28th with Goodman Fisk at 360. Plus DJ Tonka and the Liberty Bell Beer Garden. Saturday, October 29th, Fish Out of Water rocks Parks Casino. Your place for live entertainment, award-winning restaurants, and never-ending action. Check out parkscasino.com for a full list of world-class entertainment. Coming soon to the Excite Center. Parks Casino. This is how you win. Must be 21 and older. Gambling problem for winning the gambling. Hey guys, it's Andrew. At CSL Plasma, you can make up to $825 this month when you donate plasma at any of CSL Plasma's tri-state area donation centers. That's money in your pocket for doing a great deed. Plasma donations help create therapies to treat patients with rare and serious diseases, and the process, it's similar to donating blood. For locations and info on how you can donate plasma and earn up to $825 this month, visit CSLplasma.com. Walk-ins are welcome. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. Listen to 97.5 The Fanatic everywhere on Alexa at 975thefanatic.com, The Fanatic app, and now on Odyssey. In a world of division, we bring people together. 97.5, The Fanatic. I don't care about New York City, Ray. Turn it off. Turn it off. That's fine. It's it's the music that Thank was you. in there. I, no, I don't, I don't like it. I don't care about New York right now. What New York's down 3-0. About? Yes, they are. In a baseball series. You know who's not down 3-0, Connor? The Philadelphia Phillies. The Fightins. That's absolutely correct. 610-632-0975. I do want to tell you this weekend's programming is brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Sounds good. Man. I'll tell you what it is. Better ingredients. The Philadelphia Phillies have better ingredients than the San Diego Padres right now. Well, you know what? I love our friends over at Papa John's. But it would be like if you went and you ordered a nice steaming hot Papa John's pepperoni pizza. And... All of a sudden, the the pepperoni decided that they were going to get ringworm and take something illegal, okay, and not be able to play ah. and not be able to play for the pepperoni pizza in the uh, NLCS, okay, and hang their team out to dry. Fernando Tatis Jr. Shout out to you, appreciate it, thanks, bud. Yeah, but Papa John's would never do that because they're nah. they're quality. Never and the pepperoni would never take uh, illegal performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> better ingredients, better pizza. Papa <laughs> yeah, John's, love that. them. Look at that. Clip that one and send it to him. What what a, what a read there. Uh, no, for real though, that's a, could you imagine if like Bryce Harper wasn't available for the Phillies in this series? I know Juan Soto is there, but let, let's be honest. Fernando Tatis Jr. is their guy. Like Soto's, yeah, that's a guy Soto's they gave the $300 better, million dollars to. Yeah. Soto's the better player. I think, uh, if you, if you look at the two of them, but it's not that huge of a margin. And it's Tatis close, is yeah. like the, the guy that they've had. He's like the guy that is the face of their franchise. Sure. Soto Absolutely. is the is kind of the assassin. He's the gun for hire that you bring in at the trade deadline. But, And then he's just uh, not available at all this season because of a motorcycle accident and ringworm uh, in quotation yeah, marks, whatever, whatever it was. It, it just could, couldn't, couldn't be our guy. Couldn't be Bryce. Couldn't be me. Nope. Now, by the way, uh, of course, if you're listening to us, I would fix the stream issue, so appreciate everyone who tweeted us about that. Got that worked out. We're also on YouTube today. So you can go ahead and check us out on 97.5 The Fanatics YouTube page. Shout out to the YouTube if you want to see our bright and smiling faces today. Tom's rocking his 2008 World Champions World Series Champions hoodie. Uh, I've got my uh, Phillies uh, big windbreaker John nice shirt. Nice on here. Yeah, my, my buddy gave this to me. He was just like, I don't really want it. Uh, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. Sure. He's like, yeah, you like baseball? Is that not like, one of the yes, coolest parts about this run? Is when you're out and about, seeing random people, all ages... All genders, just rocking Philly stuff right yes. now. Like, like it's we're in the heart of football season. The Eagles are undefeated, and we're still all eagled up, and we're feeling good. It's a bye week, so they're on the back burner a little bit now. But they were on the back burner last week, and they were, it was Dallas week. But that's the coolest part. You see people walking their dog out at the Wawa, just out and about. Everyone has Philly's fever in and around this city. That is one of the coolest parts. It feels it's it, it's just nostalgic again. It feels like 07 to 2011 again. Yeah. That's what it feels like. And I've been, we've been waiting for that for so long, and it's awesome. Even outside of this city, there are people. Now, let's let's take a little detour real quick because we got to discuss this. I need, I need to know violation or not. David Ortiz. Okay. <laughs> Free and post game. He's all filling up, dude. Man, rocking the Reggie White throwback Kelly Green jersey, dancing with the Fanatic yeah. on the dugout. Yeah. 
And then post game last night, you sitting there, I look on TV, and my man Big Poppy's rocking the Allen Iverson throwback. Yep, yep. Violation or not? You, is that you, is that pandering? Is he nah. is he allowed to do that? A, a Boston hero? That's what's weird. How do you think Boston sees that? I, just, mean, I I don't know. I mean, that's their dude. That's the their Hall of yeah, Famer. The like, guy that won him. He's since his uh, since his media career has taken off post. Like he's very much been. I'll do whatever. Yeah, more national. I guess. Around. Yeah, yeah. I, like when you have that type of um, uh, respect. And track record with a city, I don't think Boston cares. No, no, I know I don't that. Think they're man, like, oh man, screw the comeback in 2004. He wore an Iverson jersey yeah, on national TV. The biggest home runs ever for our franchise. Like, that that dude's Listen, a legend. So there's plenty of room on the bandwagon. About. Whoever wants to jump so on, we're cool with that. Yeah, absolutely. Even we're a cool, Boston man. legend who, uh, if A Rod like, wants to jump on, Verducci, no, they all no, can. A Rod, everybody. A-Rod, no, the more the merrier. I don't want A Rod on this trip. A Rod's not allowed. Ken Rosenthal's not they're allowed. They're all allowed. No, don't don't want him. Fine, Big Poppy. I, I don't know. Feels kind of weird to see him just fully going Philly. I like I don't I don't hate it. I'm glad that he's into it. It shows you the type of appeal that this Philadelphia Phillies team has and the type of run they're on and that's what I wanted to get into the segment. It's just uh something feels strange about him him doing that because of the fact that he's a recent former player. Like there were Think about what Dan Orlovsky was when the Philadelphia Eagles went to the Super Bowl. Think about what um, the name is escaping me. The guy who does um, Good Morning Football on NFL Network. Kyle uh, Brandt. Brandt yeah. Yes. What he was for the Eagles in 2017. Like, they went totally Philly. Yeah. And that's that's fine. Uh, like, I enjoy that. But they're just, like, announcers. Or- Orlovsky's been out of the league for a long time. He wasn't, yeah, he like, a good lines, quarterback. No one, cares, and no, yeah. no one cares. It feels weird to see, like, a relatively recently retired guy doing that but hey tom you said it a lot of room on the bandwagon we can make room for big poppy I everybody's guess. got philly's fever even big poppy it, it's unbelievable what this team has done except like the announcers who just continue to not that i think john smoltz uh has been bad at all and not that i think that joe davis is i think they've been pretty good actually i think it's a really good announcing team it does seem in both of the series that they're slightly slanted towards uh wanting the other team to win but not not in like a it bothers me way like the Braves a little bit of Bobby. You just notice it a little yeah, more. You kind of notice that they're that it seems like they're even. And I can't blame John Smoltz. Like imagine if Chase Utley was on a broadcast, right? And it was a Mets against somebody series. And you were you would you expect Chase Utley to be fair and biased? He's literally said on As national a Philadelphia? TV that he hates the Mets. No, I wouldn't. But. That, that is his career now, John. Right, you Smoltz. try, you try to, and I think sure, he's like doing Troy a fight. Troy Aikman when, in the big booth. Like I'm sure he wants the root for the Cowboys, but he also has to keep it professional at times. And I yeah. think as much as you can. But I, I get what you're saying. And I yeah. think he, I think he's doing a good job of it. I'm just saying it's impossible to expect him to be sure. completely unbiased yeah. against a team that he played against so many times. I get it. Yeah, absolutely. But, hey, uh, no, uh, there's so many other things to focus on. That's not the announcing, and not Big Poppy wearing an Allen Iverson jersey. And I want to talk about this run. And you can jump in six one zero six three two. 0975. Share your thoughts on last night's win. Share your thoughts ahead of today's game. But this run has just been one of those. Um, it's been magical. They're doing it in a weird way. There's been big moments from players that you don't expect. There have been kind of disappearances from guys that you'd expect big spots from. Aaron Nola in this series. Just uh, an absolute blow up of the start in yeah, game two. Bad game. Yep. And that's that's fine. I mean, Trust if it goes six and you have to go back to San Diego, I'm not remotely worried about the Aaron Nola Agreed. start that would come Good. Uh, on Monday. But I, I'm just saying, like, there have been moments where it hasn't showed up. It's We said it in the open. It's a weird team. And it kind of feels like that's how it goes in Philly, right? Like, the last team to actually go ahead and be chalk champions was the Sixers' last championship with the faux, faux, faux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Expected to run through everybody and did, even though... Uh, they didn't win it in that. They, there was five games for one of those series. But still, that was a chalk. Like, okay, they're the best team. They make the acquisition to to go ahead and bring in Moses, and they just run through everybody. But you look at it, and the 2008 Phillies were good, but they weren't juggernauts. They were like, uh, they were kind of, they showed more flashes, I think, during the regular season than this team did. And then got hot in the postseason. And at the time, now, of course, we're so far removed. We're, what, 14 years removed? So it's we just remember the championship, but a lot of people were like, oh, well, they're saving grace as they get the race, and they don't have to face a tougher team. Yep. 
So, yeah, there was there was parts of it. That was kind of one of those weird, they call it lightning in a bottle years. So, like, Brad Lidge was good all year, though, so slightly different. But the Eagles run in 2017 was for sure strange. Backup quarterback in Nick Foles, and uh, it takes you that way. And th- this is another one. It feels like it's never chalk here in Philadelphia. No, and that's why the most chalk team we've ever had, for the Phillies at least, was the 2011 team. That team didn't win a playoff series. That's why chalk doesn't matter come playoff baseball time. None of that stuff matters. It's all about getting in. It's all about getting hot at the right time. And we've said it, but <laughs> man, they have two losses in these playoffs against the Cardinals, the Braves, and the Padres. Three of the best teams, three of the best offenses in all of baseball. This is a team that some people were saying in the Phillies, I don't want them to make the playoffs because they're just going to disappoint me. What's the point of getting in? What's the point of getting in and just getting swept in the uh, wild card round? What's the point of not winning a game, not putting up a fight? Uh, This is the point because anything can happen come playoff baseball time. So that is why you get in, and that's why chalk does not matter come playoff baseball time. Uh, It's absolutely right. It's well said, Tom. 610-632-0975. We're going to open the phone lines now. And and let's start with someone. Listen, I know, I know for a fact there are already people down at the lots. The weather, rough. The wind, blowing. The rain is going to be coming, but I know there's people already out there boozing and singing and dancing and having a good time. And uh, let's open up the phones with Amelia on a cell Says they're on the way to the Phillies game. Amelia, you're on 97.5 The Fanatic. Hi. I actually called last weekend, so call it a superstition that I'm calling on the way to another possibly clinching Phillies game. That's a great job so, by you. We, we appreciate I that. Thought, I just thought, why not call it a superstition with the same person sitting in the same seat? So I thought, why not? Hopefully prepping for a nice Phillies win. Yeah, Amelia, absolutely. And appreciate you keeping that tradition going because we need all the good karma and all the good luck today. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna you're going to have to call us ahead of World Series games as long as this I, works out today. At like, I guess. Please keep hopefully, doing it. Hopefully, maybe. Let's just keep doing it. Absolutely. We're, we're going to keep it rolling. Now, uh, you're getting down there early. It is 942, and oh, first yes. pitch isn't until, what, 230 and change? Uh-huh. What, are you, what are you doing down there? Are you tailgating? Are you uh, drinking? We're going to tailgate. We're going to party. I want to sign that dang bus. I've been trying for weeks to sign the Red October bus, and I'm getting my name on that Red October bus. Love it. And I'm going to get some nice food and hopefully some NLCS first. Okay, well, here's what I need you to do, Amelia. I need you to do me a favor. You guys got to pace yourselves and make sure you're good by the time first pitch comes around. I need you oh, right yeah. in that zone because it's got to be loud in there again today. Oh, it will, and I have my signs and everything, and I'm prepped and ready to go. What do your signs say? Um, my sign says one side says, Re- says Reese Lightning, and the other side says uh, Brandon Marsh. What shampoo do you use? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. See, I just knew I knew from talking to you there was a quality sign in there, Amelia. That's absolutely right. awesome. Bring the energy. Party it up at the tailgate. Make sure everyone's ready to go, and keep calling us ahead of games as long as this run is going. Please okay? do. Will do. Thanks, Amelia. Appreciate it. You enjoy the game. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Man, that's that's just a, a great way to open up the phone lines. And uh, we're going to go to someone now next who uh, I don't I don't believe is going to the game, but probably knows it's going to happen anyway, even though he's not down there. Let's go to the Paul Nolan on the Comcast Business Hotline, the free winners. And uh, let's talk to him about what he likes from the NFL slate. Paul, how are you doing this morning, man? I'm um, excellent. I'm not, not, not as good as you guys. I mean, boy, that was some win again last night. How about before, that, so. man? Unbelievable. It's so much fun, man. I, it's just fun. You know, I, I, cause I bet him again last night, and they're down 4 nothing. I'm like, this is what I get. This is what I get for betraying my Mets and talking such smack about them. And then, boom, they came back, and I'm like, this is why I hate you, Mets fans. You know, cause <laughs> I, I, I'm a self-loathing Mets fan. Yeah, no, no, it happens. I think you could get, like, some props somewhere on, like, how the Mets golf round is going to go. Like, is Francisco Lindor going to birdie they the next hole? suck at that, too. <laughs> probably, unfortunately. Well, We've got good teams in Philadelphia, and there's some good games going on this weekend. A great NFL slate, especially for folks in Philadelphia. I know we've got the Phillies today, but the Eagles don't play. So if you're getting your football action, the best fix is going to be some of the picks that you have available for everybody, right? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, um, we're, and we're cruising along. Like, things are going great. Like, yesterday, we went on my $49 with the money-back guarantee. I had Akron plus 17 we really got it early in the week. It was plus 19 and a half, um, and, and we really pounded that game early in the week. All my whales hit that game with a fervor, if you will, and that mine came down to 15 and a half, back up to 16, and you know, it was just one of those things. I mean, people are 
you know, people are really, uh, you know, pounding the daylights out of some of our early releases. And, you know, we try to give that for new customers at 49 bucks with the money back guarantee. And on that today, I have Giants and Jaguars. So if anyone wants to take a shot, if I don't cover the spread on that game, you know, I just give you your money back or I'll give you seven days, one best bet a day uh, via text. Me and my assistant will text it to you and there's no one to talk to. So that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, man, that is an absolutely great, great deal. We are talking to Paul Nolan at Free Winners. And uh, you can get some free picks from free winners by texting the word free to 313 get info. Again, that is texting the word free to 313 get info. That's an incredible deal, Paul. What are you liking on this Sunday for this slate, this eagleless slate of NFL football? You know what? Well, like I'm giving out on the uh, recorded message or the text line, um, you know, 313 get info, text free. But I'm doing like, I'm already up Dallas, Detroit, but I'll give you something on that. You know, um, you know, when I'm looking at this game, obviously Dak Prescott back makes a difference. There should be some energy in this team. You saw the offense start to get a little bit stagnant. Cooper Rush finally regressed back to his mean with the with the interceptions. Um, and the team, obviously, when they can't get a great pass rush, like as per first half against the Eagles, you know, Lane Johnson goes down. Now they start getting disruptive. Mika uh, Parsons starts to kind of... You know, force offenses to change the way it play calls, change the way they block, and it, you know it, it's a cascading effect that rolls downhill. And I think that this Detroit offensive line is on par with the Eagles. And it's just when you look what they've got up and down the line, and now the continuity they're starting to gain, and they're starting to get, you know, that um, the, the, that real camaraderie. And you see some like, and I'm always a big fan of. I want two super cerebral guys on my offensive line, and I want three guys who spit and grunt and and fart and yell and scream and junkyard dogs and animals. And that's what they're starting to develop over there in Detroit. And it's it's pretty exciting when you watch it. Obviously, defensively, I mean, I I heard someone say the line that porous would be an insult to SpongeBob calling this defense last in run D, <laughs> last in pass D, last in points per game, last in yards per per game. You know they have the worst pass rush. Like, but the one thing they do is they really do protect. And um, I like in this game today. I, I I would lean towards the over in this game. Um, plus, I'm gonna get. I have the game itself if they uh, want to text three one three get info. So, um, but that would, that would be a good possible uh, over there only because. You know, I know you're going to get a maximum effort out of Detroit today. When teams get shut out, they always come back way better. Now you have a week in the bye to ruminate over it. And bad teams off a bye play so well coming out of it. How about this for a stat? Bad teams with a 250 win percentage or less coming off a bye, their record against the spread is 105 wins, 29 losses, three pushes. Wow. How about that? So teams that come off the bye, they're so sick of the, the press clip. They're so sick of the bad, you know. And this Detroit team hasn't been as bad as its record to a degree. They could have. Been, they've been in some games. They could have won defensively. You know, it was just a complete disaster. So I, I really think that they're going to come out with a super effort this week. But you know, I also think it's hard to trust this Detroit, you know, defense to. You know, with only seven points coming your way, so I mean, I'm leaning on Detroit a little bit, and I'm and I'm, uh, you know, I'm leaning on those. Are just the free picks there, so those are just opinions. I have, I can give more free picks if you want. Yeah, I, you know, please do. Any, yeah, it's up to you guys. On the air, I, on the other, on the main show that I did earlier today, you know, I had the under in the Colts and Titans when you know you know Tennessee is going to come out of you know you know their buy as well coming off. Uh, you know, and they're going to be ready. You know, Mike variable teams are always ready. Now, it's hard to beat a team twice, right? It's really hard to beat a team twice, especially within the division. But And the Colts showed some life last week. But when you look at that game and you break it down, there was a couple big plays. Like, you know, for me, the kid uh, Pierce just posting up guys. I mean, he's stacking defenders. He's 7 of 12 on contested catches. And, you know, it was kind of a weird game against Jacksonville. They, they really were not the better team. Last week, we watched it, and we, we you know, we try to keep arm metrics and strength metrics. We kind of really faded. Eli, this last couple of years, his arm was dead. We saw Peyton's arm die down the stretch. You, know, you see these guys who have legendary like point value. And Matt Ryan threw his longest ball of the year, and it was 47 yards. He had a full open pocket. He took three steps forward. The ball was probably 29 to 30 yards high. It was like, it was like a punt, and it went only 47 yards. So 
Um, with a little bit of wind and outside today, I, I just don't see them having any deep threats whatsoever. Naheem Hines is back, and, and you know, Jonathan Taylor is back. They're both banged up, so I don't see them being super elusive today. I do think they'll keep the, the chains moving, and I can see that game staying under the 42 and a half. It was 43 early in the week, and I'm seeing now actually some 41 and a half, so I like that game to stay under, but, you know, 42 is such a pivotal number. Um, and yeah, so there's some 42s back. I'm looking at, yeah, the, in Nevada, there's uh, 42s everywhere now. So that's a good value, and I'd buy 42 always, the 42 and a half. It's one of the few places on a total I will buy. And uh, so that's another good free pick. I think guys can sink their teeth in if they're, you know, just don't want to text or, or call us. Uh, we understand people are just always afraid to end up on a, a mailing list or some kind of phone room that's relentless. We, we don't have time for that. We're not going to call you relentlessly. That's that's the all word. If you text in, you know, we'll text you back. That's it. Again, talking to Paul Nolan of Free Winners, text free to 313 get info. That's free to 313 Get info. And, and Paul, you're the best, man, because it, this might be an ugly slate for some people, but yeah. it's not ugly to you because you're just you're worried about winning money. You got the stats for no, everybody. It's, ugly to me. <laughs> you, it's still ugly. OK, it's still. But hey, just because it's ugly doesn't mean you can't win some people some money. Right. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. and you're, like, you're 23 years old and it's 4 a.m. and everybody's beautiful. So, like, there's always... <laughs> I've been there. This, you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, there's some ugly games. There really are, but there's so much beauty in the ugly, you know? Like, everything, there's always value here, you know? Um, and that's where it comes down to this. I have, t- you know, I love my $49 game today. I mean, I absolutely love it. Uh, Jaguars, Giants. It's, to me, if, if I don't cover that game, I mean, I'm happy to give guys seven days of just texting free picks. And there's no talking, you know? So if guys are interested, I, I just I really love that 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 option. And three one three, get info. Get my three best bets of the day. You'll get Detroit, uh, Dallas. You'll get Houston, Las Vegas. I know that's ugly. And Kansas City, uh, San Fran, which is obviously the most marquee matchup of the day. So I um I really feel good about the games again, and we're rolling. So three one three, get info. Why not? Plus, I'll even bonus anybody who wants. We'll give them our opinion on the. Uh, you know, on the pods and, uh, and Phil, so what the heck. You can't beat that, man. You absolutely can't. Again, talking to Paul Nolan of Free Winners, text the word free to 313-GET-INFO. That is free to 313-GET-INFO. Paul, thank you so much for joining us, man. Uh, any last words for the people out there listening that want to win some money? You know what? It's, it's so hard to go it alone. I mean, a lot of people are just afraid to ask for help. You know, there's a lot of ego and pride in this thing, and I just don't understand it. You know, we put so many, the, the man hours we put into this, the labor of love we put into this, it's insane. The guys can't do it on their own. It, it's, they just can't consistently win on their own, and it's just the truth. It's uh, So I promise you I won't, you know, I won't you know, give you anything less than 100% effort constantly. And that's really what we do. We just grind and grind and grind. And I, I love the process. Love it, man. Love it. And we appreciate you. We appreciate your process here. Again, Paul Nolan of Free Winners, text free to 313 get info, and you get that money back $49 best bet for the Jags, New York Giants. Paul, thank you so much, man. And I can't wait to talk to you next week. All right, gentlemen. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate you guys as well. Have a great day. Thanks, Thank Paul. You, you too. Man. You too. Appreciate it, man. That's Paul Nolan for free winners, of course, with your uh, uh, some of your picks for the NFL slate. So go ahead and uh, check that stuff out. Now we have a break, and we'll be back real quick. We're going to talk a, a little bit about, we are going to mention the birds real quick, and how it compares to the Philadelphia Phillies. We're going to stay very much with the Phillies. We'll also have some open lines. 610-632-0975. Reacting to last night's win, previewing today's Game, what is it, game five of the NLCS? Game five. Yeah. <laughs> the final game in Philadelphia for the series, so a very big one. And everything you want to talk about, whether you're going to the game, watching at home, went to the game last night, man, we are just having a great time talking Philadelphia Phillies baseball here. And we'll be right back after this on 97.5 The Fanatic. 97.5 The Fanatic. Turn a loss into a win with BetMGM. Place a one-game parlay wager with at least four legs or more on any pro football game. If all the legs of the parlay hit but one, you'll get your stake back in free bets up to $25. Log into your account or download the app and sign up with BetMGM to take advantage of this offer all season long. Just opt into the promotion, then place a one-game parlay wager with four legs or more on any pro football game. 
If you miss only one leg of your wager, you'll receive up to $25 back in free bets. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. 21 years of age or older to wager. Pennsylvania only. New and existing customer offer. All promotions are subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Rewards issued with nominal allowable free bets or site credit. Free bets expire within seven days of issuance. If you or somebody you know has a gambling problem, help is available. Call 1-800-GAMBLER. BetMGM Sports in partnership with Hollywood Casino Morgantown. Attorneys ready to serve America's largest injury law firm. Fighting for full and fair compensation. Dial now for a free case evaluation. For your right, no fees. We win. Let's believe that we'll battle to the end. Dial pound law, that's all. Or log on to ForThePeople.com. Come on. All you gotta do is. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hi guys, it's Andrew with Oak Hills Medical Clinic. Are you struggling with ED and sick of the pills? Well, we have a major medical breakthrough that has helped thousands of men. Our wave technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including from Cambridge University. It's proven to increase blood flow by repairing blood vessels. No pills and no side effects. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED and turn back the clock in the bedroom, call us now. And not only will the assessment and blood flow ultrasound be free, we'll also include something unique that produces immediate results in the bedroom. I don't think I've ever heard of it failing. This offer is worth $600, but it's free to those that call in the next two minutes. 215-302-9999. That's 215-302-9999. Guys, put a stop to your ED and get your love life back. Call Oak Hills Medical Clinic now to qualify for this unprecedented offer. 215-302-9999. FanFest is the biggest party of the year for Philly sports fans, and FanDuel wants to send you there. (laughs) Now, new FanDuel customers can get a pair of tickets to the Fanatic FanFest courtesy of America's number one sportsbook. Just sign up with the app, make your first deposit, and place a bet of $25 or more to get a pair of FanFest tickets for October 29th at Xfinity Live. Make every moment more. Must be 21 plus and present in PA. First 300 new users only. Minimum bet $25. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. At Progressive, you can get 24-7 protection, even if you break the space-time continuum. Ted, wake up. Huh? You look exactly like me. I am you, Ted, from the future. You need to call Progressive. What? Why? Well, they have 24-7 protection when you bundle your home and auto. And my teleportation cube just smashed into your car. Wait, you crashed into my car? Technically, it's our car. Progressive offers more than a great price when you bundle home and auto. We offer round-the-clock protection, which literally means anytime. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers and subject to policy terms. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. Hey, it's Cuz inviting you to join me, Tunis, and Charlie Manuel being Clearwater for the spring training trip of a lifetime with, of course, Philly sports trips. Get your deposit in now. Reserve your seats. We're staying at the beautiful Wyndham Grand heated pool, private beach, center of the action. We'll have an awesome weekend. Catch the Phils versus Toronto. Have a private event with the skill. This is the trip you can't miss. Me, Tunis, and Charlie. Go to phillysportstrip.com now. Reserve your spot with a small deposit. phillysportstrip.com. Do it now. Go Fightins. Hey, it's Ricky Bow. If you're looking for a new vehicle this fall, then visit Barlow Buick GMC in Woodbury. They're offering huge savings and competitive financing rates to well-qualified buyers. New vehicles like the GMC Sierra in Acadia or the Buick Enclave are arriving daily, so reserve yours now with no additional dealer fees or markups. When it comes to honest pricing and dedicated service, you can always count on Barlow. Visit Barlow Buick GMC in Woodbury or shop online at BarlowAutoGroup.com. Experience the new Buick. GMC, we are professional grade. Hey, to become the next generation of innovators, entrepreneurs, and creators, we're going to need something. Like a high-speed internet connection that can turn my ideas into reality. 
Like the skills to become the world's most powerful coder. Like the tools to start my sustainable shoe business. You just heard some of the millions of students Comcast is supporting through Project Up, our comprehensive initiative and $1 billion commitment to open doors for the next generation so they can build a future of unlimited possibilities. Learn more at Comcast.com slash Project Up. Anywhere fans go to cheer on their team, there are behind the scenes MVPs ensuring everything is game day ready. We see you, Joe, fixing seats so every fan can enjoy every game. And Allie, who keeps her stadium running smoothly from the moment the first game starts to the last play of the season. At Granger, you're our MVPs, and we're always here for you with supplies and solutions for every industry and 24 7 customer support. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. It's Jimmy Rollins here, and I've joined the Bet Park Sportsbook team. The new Bet Parks app is everything you want in a mobile sportsbook, right from your phone. It's easy to sign up and faster to win than ever before. Try our same game parlays or bet live once the game starts. And right now, all new Bet Parks users get up to $750 sportsbook bonus back if your first bet isn't a winner. Go ahead and download the new Bet Parks app today. Win sports. Bet Parks. See website for terms and conditions. Bonus funds must be wagered once. Must be 21 and in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hells presents the guy who did his homework. When it came to Jill's engagement ring, Brady knew exactly what to get. Okay, so I came up with a design and showed it to all of our friends. She'll love it. Then he went to Hellsberg. Their incredible selection of high-quality, lab-grown and natural diamonds made creating that special ring easy. Her reaction? I love it. Can't wait to tell everybody. Everybody might know about it. Be like Brady. Create the ring of your dreams at a Hellsberg near you or at Hellsberg.com. Ask now about special finance offers. At my age, I never dreamed I'd be dealing with opioid addiction. I was pregnant and I couldn't stop. Getting sidelined by an injury was bad, but the cravings were way worse. Then I heard about 844 Reach NJ. They connected me to treatment and I had a healthy baby. 844 Reach NJ was the call that made the difference. Thank goodness I made the call. So glad I made the call for both of us. Reach NJ. If you or someone when you love is struggling with addiction, call 844-REACH-NJ from the New Jersey Department of Human Services. Hello. Whether you're at home or on the go, listen to 97.5 The Fanatic on Odyssey on your smartphone, Roku, LG Smart TV, Waze, and more. That's Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. Check it out now. WPEN Burlington, Philadelphia. A Beasley Media Group station. Home of the most entertaining sports talk in Philadelphia. 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia. It's Wheeler Day, baby. 10.01 here. 97.5 The Fanatic. Connor Thomas, Tom Alvord, and, uh, we are just a couple hours away from Zach Wheeler taking the mound for the Philadelphia Phillies with a chance to go to the World Series. If you're a Mets fan who just heard that and just woke up from a coma, probably just passed out again, uh, knowing that, uh, that that's what happened to make it a, uh, even Possible. better. Yeah. Uh, Noah Syndergaard is also on there. Yeah. Oh, and uh, JT Romito, who you picked uh, Brian McCann over. Yeah, he's the best catcher in baseball. So, uh, hope you're enjoying your offseason in New York, but this is not about the New York Mets. This is about the Philadelphia Phillies. Just love to get those digs in there where we can. By the way, uh, the Braves, the Nationals, the Marlins, all playing golf. I wonder if they're getting together for like an NLE scramble where it's like there's a team from the Marlins and a team from the Braves and a team from the Mets uh, and uh, a team from the Nationals uh, all together just golfing somewhere like Aruba. That's, Maybe. Sounds lovely. Not, not, not as lovely as... Uh, a chance to go to the World Series today, though, which is the Phil- what the Philadelphia Phillies have. And uh, hopefully uh, the Padres can get a late entry into that tee time uh, with a uh, Phillies victory today. Now, this is a big game. and Yes, you're correct. Part of the reason why it's a big game is thanks to, yes, the Philadelphia Eagles, the football team. How does that tie together? Well, I mean, it's very simple. I think you can put together the roadmap of how that works. <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles are on by this week, and their 6 those start is incredible. And the bye couldn't have come at a better time for them because they had a couple guys getting banged up. They can now rest there. It's a good, like, okay, that was the first stretch. We know how good we are, all of that. Uh, it, it works for all of those reasons. But also, and I know that San Diego no longer has a football team because that, that fan base. Now, it was wrong that they took the Chargers from San Diego, I think. But still, it speaks to that fan base. And we saw that uh, at Petco Park. And we see the differences between Philadelphia and San Diego uh, starkly displayed over the past couple nights at Citizens Bank Park. We'll see it again this afternoon, weather permitting, at at Citizens Bank Park uh, today. But 
There's no football team there. I, I understand that. Here's the thing. A 2.30 clinching game with the Eagles playing at like one, that'd be an issue. That'd be a bit of a problem. That, yeah, you'd that have, would be uh, problematic, that's for sure. You'd have 50,000, because I don't think, I don't know if the Eagles game would be, I, I guess it'd be a sellout. So you, you'd have like 60,000 people over at the link, and that could take away from the folks who are at Citizens Bank Park and divide the energy up. It's like uh, it's like an election where there's two candidates for the same party and they split the votes and uh, all of a sudden they lose. Like that, That's kind of what it would be like. But just uh, great NFL scheduling work by whoever puts that together, whatever algorithm they use, or whoever decides the bye week to, uh, to know that the Philadelphia Phillies are going to be in the NLCS clinching game today, and you don't have to worry about Eagles football or anything else going on. Yeah, because I'm sure that was an absolute uh, crap show, if you will. Yesterday with the Sixers playing at home, and I believe there was a concert around there as well. Um, oh, the Sixers played? Uh, yeah, how about that? And That's all your Sixers coverage for today. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Um yeah, so I, I if it's an Eagles game we're talking about, which even if the Phillies are in a potential World Series clinching game or game to get to the World Series, that stadium's still going to be packed with Eagles green. Lincoln Financial Field is, that is. Um, so, yeah, very glad that we just have Phillies baseball to worry about today around that area. That's for sure, because that would not be fun to get in and around. It would be a great time once you're there, mm-hmm. because that would be the greatest tailgate of all time. An Eagles game when they're 6-0 oh, and that, Phillies in one game away from the World Series. That'd be crazy. That would be absolutely insane so kind of miss like unfortunate because we don't get to see that but uh for traffic and for probably safety reasons yeah it's it's uh both yeah yeah it's for the best that's for the best and actually no you know what we're not we're not done with our sixers talk today because i owe a thank you to the philadelphia 76ers okay this is one of those dumb things that totally isn't real but it is like 100 percent believe in it even though it's like fairy dust it's like bigfoot or vampires like, I, I, I believe in those things, but I know they're not actually real. Or birds. Birds, definitely not real. Except the Eagles. Go birds. But in Philadelphia sports, there has to be a team imploding at any given time. We cannot have all of our teams winning. And the Union win their playoff matchup with FC Cincinnati. The Flyers, a hotter start to the season than anyone expected. Yeah, out of nowhere. The Eagles, 6-0 and undefeated. Best team in football. And the Philadelphia Phillies in the NLCS today with a chance to win. Thank goodness. Thank you, Sixers, for absolutely imploding so far this season because Philadelphia cannot exist in a world where all the teams are good. Someone needs to bite the bullet. And the Sixers are like, okay, well, we have James Harden and we have Joel Embiid and we have Tyrese Maxey and got a great bench now and we got a team that's ready to make a deep playoff run. We could stomach a couple early season losses so the Phillies can go on this run and the Eagles can stay undefeated and the Union can win a playoff game and the Flyers can uh, can win some of their fans back over. So shout out to the Sixers for biting the bullet on the uh, the one team has to be losing in Philadelphia at any given time theory because that's absolutely factual. It happens all the time. Things cannot go too well and things are going incredibly well right now for Philadelphia because the Sixers are uh, being our sports martyrs right now. So thank you. Sixers. Yeah, and I'm sure the Sixers are saying thank you, Phillies, for taking all the attention off of us and having everyone focus on you when we're 0 and 3 to start the season. So I think it's mutual there. I think it's uh, kind of works for both sides. But uh, but yeah, you're fighting Phils one game away from the World Series. Now I saw a lot yesterday, Connor. Real quick, um, I mentioned I was watching a couple uh, the post game show, and people are really um, one person in particular was uh, th- was saying the series is over. That, oh, you got Wheeler. This is done. World Series clinched. Ticket punched. Uh, no, it's not going to be that easy. The, 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 the Padres aren't just going to roll over and see Zach Wheeler on them. Oh, Zach Wheeler, that's a really good pitcher. We're done. Game's over. Why even show up? Doesn't matter. No, no. The Padres are a really good baseball team. Their backs are against the wall, and they know if they win this game, momentum goes back to them despite being down 3-2 in the series because they go back home. So if you're out there thinking that this series is over and that it's no doubt World Series punched, Easy game, nine nothing win. Wheeler goes eight innings. Uh, j- just, just, just check yourself for a second because I think this is going to be a very, very tough game. It's going to be sloppy weather. I doubt the ball's traveling very much. I don't think we get what four home runs from the Phillies like we did yesterday. So mm-hmm. I still have, very, I still have a ton of confidence, and I do think the Phillies win this game and close this series out today. But just some of the, uh, the, the chest puffing 
out that I saw le- last night. And listen, we should be excited about the Phillies win. That's true. But listen, we still have business to take care of here in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Phillies still have business to take care of here in Philadelphia. So the the Padres aren't just going to roll over and die. That's all. That's pretty much all I have to say. No, that. they're not. They faced the elimination one time this postseason. It was against the New York Mets in New York. Uh, and that game ended 6 to nothing in favor of the Padres, Joe Musgrove. It was the wet ear game, if you remember that, where uh, Buck Showalter had uh, had them go out and check Joe Musgrove's ears because they look – he does have ears that look constantly wet. But it was not any – like shiny ears. But uh, he had uh, – there was no substance on him. So you good over there? You're like struggling with the microphone. Yeah, dude, we're fine. Everything's good. <laughs> we're good. It's okay. Nothing can go wrong when the Philadelphia Phillies are playing this good of baseball. 610-632-0975. But, yeah, facing elimination, the Padres are 1-0 this postseason, and it was a 6-0 win uh, against the New York Mets uh, with Bassett on the mound, who's pretty good for the yeah, Mets. So definitely. this is a team that – And you're going fly. against Darvish today, which we mentioned. Darvish is no slouch besides those two solo homers, which even right. with the two solo ho- – two, two He was really good. Homers, he was really good in that game in game one. Yeah, yeah. so going to be a tough battle today. I'll still take the fills. I will too. 610 632 0975. Let's go back to the phone lines. Let's talk to Andrew in Phoenixville. Says he feels good about the fills today. So do we, Andrew. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you today? It's great. On, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, today's game. I was actually watching uh, the game last night at Beast Run Bridge in Phoenixville, and it was completely packed. I think it was there was no one sitting at all. Everybody had uh, 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 Phillies jerseys on or any kind of Philly mer- merchandise on. Um, it was just loud. It was packed. Um, I can't imagine what how loud it was at the uh, at the ballpark. Um, I did go on actually YouTube. Uh, I guess it was a day or two ago where someone had posted a video of sitting out on the deck, I guess two miles away from the stadium, and you can hear the roar of the stadium from Friday's game. Um, that's how that's how loud it was. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like today. Yeah, it's um, incredible. I, I, can't, I can't wait to see the environment. And honestly, these are the type of environments where a city like Philadelphia, uh, like if it, it never rains in California, but like if it rained at a Padres game, that stadium would be half full. The, yep. the the Phillies fans, like Phillies fan base, almost does their best work in bad weather. So I'm excited yep. for it. Um, and touching on your points about the Eagles, obviously with their bye week, I'm hoping, and I haven't heard any word yet, but has Lane Johnson passed his protocol or concussion protocol yet? Haven't seen anything yet. He's still uh, within a week, so he probably uh, won't be good until later in the week. Normally, if you get a concussion in a game, it'll be a, a week that they won't play. And, of course, it was Sunday night against Dallas, so today would be the one-week threshold. Uh, that's not any like requirement like you have to to make one week, but normally the guys mix uh, miss the next game. So I'd imagine we'll hear something early this coming week about his stats. So that's what I'm hoping for. Obviously, it's great that we have this bye this week so everybody can get healthy. I know you touched on that about a couple minutes ago, but uh, I'm glad that we have this bye week. We can all get healthy, go into Pittsburgh with a healthy O-line. Lane Johnson will be passing his uh, concussion protocol and uh, be able to play on Sunday. So that's what I'm hoping for. But for today's game, Zach Wheeler, I think – uh, he is going to go in there confident. If we can do completely the opposite of what we did last night in, in inning, first inning, uh, come out strong, uh, have that command with the pitch, uh, have the strike command, uh, have the strike, uh, you know, really hitting uh, dead center and uh, get those pitches uh, where they can't hit them. I, I think we should have that win. Uh, th- today, so man, um, I hope you're right, Andrew, and I hope it does play out that way. Appreciate the call. Thanks, man. Uh, you enjoy the uh, rest of your Sunday. Yeah, uh, I-, I hope uh, what Andrew was saying was good. Command the strike zone, uh, attack, get after it early. Of course, there's weather in the forecast, as there always is. I love, I love that saying. There's weather in the forecast because whether it's sunny or rainy, there's always weather in the that's, forecast. That's correct. Yes, either good weather or bad weather. Sure. So I always thought that was stupid phrasing, but there's bad weather uh, in the forecast uh, coming in. It looks. Uh, by my handy dandy Weather Channel app uh, to be coming in around 4 p.m. So early is good. They're probably going to try to play through a good amount of it because it looks light until about five or six. So we'll be looking at one of those situations where uh, game could get a little bit sloppy late. So take care of business early uh, if you were the Philadelphia well, Phillies. And that's the, the the thing that I guess worries me the most is, and that would should worry a lot of people out there is. The only thing that can stop Zach Wheeler right now is Zach Wheeler not being able to pitch. If he goes out there, throws three innings, three perfect innings, three hitless innings, whatever, even whatever, gives up a couple of hits, gives up a run, so be it. If he's looking good, goes out there, three innings, the pitch counts down low, and then rain hits, and it's an hour delay 
Uh, Zach Wheeler, as much as he would want to, I don't think is going back out after that rain delay. So I'm hoping Major League Baseball is doing their due diligence and trying to figure something out. I, I know Rob Thompson, the Phillies, and from the Padres' perspective, too, because they got you Darvish on the mound. They're going to want him out there as long as humanly possible, too. So I that's just... It's the only thing I'm a little worried about today is when is this rain going to hit? What point in the game? Because if, if like I said, if this is the third inning and both of those starters are out and we got a bullpen game again, anything can happen. And I, and I have confidence because you have Alvarado and Dominguez available, but like anything can happen in those types of games. So really hoping uh, the Major League Baseball has a plan and the Phillies uh, come out on the right side on this one, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, listen, it's it's a big game and the weather affecting it could have uh, could have any type of effect. We'll see. 610-632-0975 uh, as Tom continues to wrestle with his microphone. Now, on YouTube, uh, we, we got a great comment. We are on YouTube. You can check us out, 97.5 The Fanatic uh, channel on YouTube. You can find our, our live broadcast there. Haley's back there running that for us. So Daniel Miller says this. This is great work by, uh, by Daniel Miller. He says his son has a baseball game at 1 o'clock today. They already talked to the other coach and agreed they're not starting another inning after 2.15. Okay. 215, last inning, run it, and it's over. We're getting home for the game. That's a great move. That's what you got to do. Yep, absolutely. Sorry, no. If it was me, I'd be like, oh, uh, baseball got canceled today. I think the rain's coming in at one, and I'd I'd, I'd call the game, but you want the kids to be able to play a little bit and get out, and they're probably excited to play the game. But you also want the kids, realistically, you want the kids to, how do you grow the game of baseball? It's having the kids that are Phillies fans around this area, or just any kids in, in general that enjoy the game of baseball, playing it, going out there. Wouldn't you want their eyes to be on this this game today, a potential World Series clinching game to get to the World Series? You want the young kids to go out there and be able to watch this game and watch the game in full because a lot of these games have been on real late at night. The 7.30 starts, 8 o'clock starts. Maybe they're not able to stay up the entire time. you got a perfect 2.30 game, a great opportunity to get these young kids to be able to go out there and watch the game and watch the take in the full thing, enjoy every minute of it. So as much as you want them to go out there and play the game of baseball and get active and be active, you also want them to love the game of baseball, to grow the game of baseball, and the best way to do it is have all eyes on this Phillies Padres game at two thirty today. Hopefully, yes. Now, last night was a special game for a lot of reasons. Uh, the Phillies take a commanding three one series lead. Bryce Harper cements himself as the best player in the universe. Reese Hoskins hits two home runs. The bullpen incredible. Uh, a comeback from being down four nothing early. It was the most resilient win of the. Mm, Top two with the, of course, the, card, the this, Cardinals. That's how good postseason runs been. Yeah, that it doesn't even rank number one unanimously. Yes, it, it was a great game. But uh, we're going to go back to the phones and talk to uh, to Heavy, who, who loved the game last night for a different reason. I might ask him to, to hold a little bit of money uh, at some point. Heavy from Huntington Valley, you're on 97.5 The Fanatic. What happened with the game last night? Dude, I was at the game last night, and this this team is just, they they can win, and I don't know how they're going to lose today. This team can't lose. It's crazy. But yeah, I won like uh, twenty eight hundred bucks on the on the game last night. What? What? What'd you yeah. bet? So uh, before the game started, I put I put five hundred down. Uh, I bet five hundred on the money line. And then when they were down four nothing, I put another I I put another three hundred on the on them to win, and uh, all together that paid out uh, pretty much like two grand. Dude, and that, I, that's a I, great call I, by you. And then I had, and then I had Bryce Harper and JT Real Muto, and the Phillies win both get. Or I'm sorry, get uh, both getting an R, RBI that paid out four twenty. And then I bet that the uh, Phillies would win by three. That paid out like uh, like two hundred. And then uh, and then I and then I had uh, I think I had Bryce Harper getting like four four bases or something. Man. Something like that, dude. You bet but a was, bunch yeah. last night. So so dude, you enjoyed I, the game like crazy, dude. I, I need you to do me a I, favor. My Venmo Connor dash Thomas dash five. Go ahead and slide in there. Just shoot me a fiver if you don't like. You, you're good for it, man. Twenty eight hundred. I started off. With th- I put three hundred dollars into my account on Tuesday, I'm up to three f- uh, thirty five hundred right now. Man, that, that's a that's great work by you. You're enjoying it for uh, for more reasons than just the Phillies winning, which is great. But, but the, dude, like I, the I'm run sitting, is. I'm sitting next to this guy last night. You know, it's four nothing, and 
you know, I'm talking to him, and, and we're just like, dude, like, you know, we're not worried. You know, it was every, it, you know, people were a little upset in the beginning, but still, like, everyone just, you know, you know, everyone just thought we could still come back. And, even, you know, even when it was, you know, 6 4, you know, we came, we come back after they scored two runs. Mm-hmm. We score four runs in the bottom. Yeah, they're, put, they're a resilient team, two heavy. More, two more runs you know, in the next two innings after that. Like, these guys are just, they can't lose. Yeah, listen, Heavy, I appreciate the call, man. Uh, they, it, it does feel like that right now, right? The, the they can't lose thing? Now, obviously, we know they're still susceptible to losing games. Like, this series is not over. No, it's not. And you've got another one after this. If they are uh, lucky enough, good enough, whatever you want to call it, enough to win today or tomorrow or Tuesday, but uh, it certainly has that feel of, like, when we talked about it, how do you beat this team? Well, and, and you said to me before the show started, you were like, were you ever worried last night? And I said, not really. They get down 4 nothing because of, one, because Clevenger's on the mound, and I knew they could hit Clevenger around a little bit. Definitely that helps. Yeah, Darvish on the mound last night. It's a different story, maybe. But I had confidence that this offense was going to wake up and these big, not wake up, I guess just wake up for that game. Um, and these big bats, the big name guys in the middle of the lineup, were going to step up in this kind of situation. Even when they got down six four, was I worried? Yeah, because it's the fifth inning, I'm like, uh oh, that takes the life out of the stadium a little bit. But I never was like panic mode with this baseball team, and I can't believe that because I've been panic mode with this baseball team for the last ten years of my life plus. So to see this team being able to go out there and do it, and you said yourself, you weren't panicked at all the entire game last night, right? No, I was. Uh, you were. It's weird. I was weirdly calm uh, last yeah. night. I. Here's the thing. I keep saying it. I, I think this is the right number. I think it's 172. I've watched 172 of this damn baseball team's games this year. Uh, like, when you've seen a team play that much, you get a really, really good feel for when they have it and when they don't. Like, when they lost game two from basically like Jump Street, I was like, something something feels weird with them. Like, and then Nola implodes, and I'm like, okay, well, that that's it. They don't have the comeback in them tonight because it just felt like one of those games where the Padres were going to defend. They just had it that their home yeah. yeah, Exactly. You, when you watch 172 or whatever it is, damn baseball games uh, of, of this team, it's easier to feel comfortable with the – I don't want to say vibes because vibes are such an intangible thing, but that's what it really is. The vibes surrounding the team on any given night, uh, you you get in tune with them. And I know uh, a bunch of folks out here, this is not the uh, Connor shows off how many games he's watched uh, hour because I know there's people out there who have caught every single game too who don't do what we do or just passionate fans. I, I know everyone's followed this team despite some of the rough stretches of the season, uh, but up until this point. So, no, all of that leading into, I wasn't really worried because last night felt like one of those nights where the home crowd is just going to carry this team when the team's not playing well, and eventually they're going to catch fire and they're going to beat you. They're they're a hard team to put away at home. And you know who else wasn't worried at all? Rob Thompson and Bryce Harper. Those guys never seem to be worried. They always seem cool, calm, collected, always at ease at all times. I don't know about calm for Bryce Harper. He seemed, uh, well, seemed a little okay. bit less than calm at second base when last night. When they were down, I'm saying, but he yes. seemed calm. And when you have the leaders of your team, the two, your highest paid player, the face of your franchise, and the new manager of this baseball team, not only for this season, but for at least the next two seasons after this, when your main guys are calm like that, you know what it does to everyone else? It keeps them calm. It keeps them cool and collected. And that's what's so good about this. Another great thing about this baseball team and I, is I think it has great leadership now that they're in the playoffs. It was just getting over that hump. It was getting the monkey off the back. Get into the playoffs. Now that they're in there and they're playing with house money, quote-unquote, I think the leadership of this team is really, really presenting itself in a positive way, to me at least, as a baseball fan. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, R- pretty, darn, pretty darn good so far. That is, that is fair. Rob Thompson, the owner of a, a cool new two-year contract to manage the Phillies through the 2024 season, and Bryce Harper, of course, here for a long time, both doing incredible jobs. 610-632-0975. Final segment coming up. Before we hand it over to Andrew Salchunas, Anthony Gargano, Cousin Chunas from Xfinity Live down by the stadiums for a very special Phillies pregame show. But before we do that, there's a little bit of worry on the horizon. And... I don't want to set out bad vibes because I do have a lot of faith in the Phillies winning today. But I think it's important we go into this game 
knowing how important this particular game is, because if they don't win today, the road does get a little bit tricky. 610-632-0975. It's Connor Thomas, Tom Alford. We'll be right back with you here on 97.5 The Fanatic. 97.5 The Fanatic. Hey, it's me, Tom Alford. Listen, this weekend's been tremendous. It's been an awesome weekend here in Philadelphia other than the Sixers. But you know what would make it even more awesome? Is if you win some money. And the way you win some money, all you got to do is text the word free to 313-GET-INFO. Again, text the word free to 313-GET-INFO. Paul Nolan from Free Winners is an NFL expert handicapper. The team at Free Winners work around the clock to uncover the best on-field matchups. They use mathematical methods and algorithms, taking every detail into account. The system they use is incredible, and they treat every client as an individual with a different set of needs. One size does not fit all. Some of the games he's given us today, Detroit, Dallas, Houston, Las Vegas, Kansas City, San Fran, and also a $49 money-back guarantee best bet with Jacksonville and New York, the New York Giants, that is. So before you place your bets on this weekend's college and pro football games, get your free picks from free winners by texting the word free to 313-GET-INFO. That's text free to 313-GET-INFO. Everything I know about marijuana, I learned back when me and my friends had mullets. Yeah, I guess I got some catching up to do. And I'm curious about medical marijuana. It's legal in my state, I think. But is it right for me? Ugh. Where can I get reliable, professional answers to my questions? The answer to that question is Veriheal. V-E-R-I-H-E-A-L dot com. Medical marijuana can be complicated, even confusing. You want trustworthy answers without jumping through hoops or waiting to see a doctor. I'm a curious guy, but I'm a cautious guy, too. I need trustworthy information, reliable answers to my questions. So Veraheal sounds good. Tell me more. Veraheal.com is your single source for facts about medical marijuana and to pre-qualify online. Private and secure, quick and easy. Get started today with easy financing. V-E-R-I-H-E-A-L. Convenience is why we're here. Trust is why we're number one. Veraheal.com. Hi, I'm Adam Flager. At Flager & Associates, we've specialized in personal injury cases for more than 30 years. When you're injured, you don't need just any attorney. You need a dedicated personal injury firm. You need to concentrate on getting well again. We handle everything else. We won't rest until we get top dollar for your case and we treat you like part of our family. Not sure if you have a case? Call for a free case evaluation. 215-953-5200 or visit flagerlaw.com. That's F-L-A-G-E-R-L-A-W.com. Trust CJ's Tire and Automotive for the right tires at the right price. CJ's carries a wide selection of hand-cooked tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. Hand-cooked tires are original equipment on some of the world's top-selling vehicles. So no matter what you drive, count on CJ's for great advice, a great deal on a set of hand-cooked tires, and getting you in and out in no time. To find out more, stop in today at any of CJ's 17 area locations. CJ's Tire and Automotive. They really are better, faster, and more affordable. Hey, to become the next generation of innovators, entrepreneurs, and creators, we're going to need something. Like a high-speed internet connection that can turn my ideas into reality. Like the skills to become the world's most powerful coder. Like the tools to start my sustainable shoe business. You just heard some of the millions of students Comcast is supporting through Project Up, our comprehensive initiative, and $1 billion commitment to open doors for the next generation so they can build a future of unlimited possibilities. Learn more at Comcast.com slash Project Up. If you work remote, Staples has you covered. Stylish office decor to turn my finished basement into a complete workspace solution. Staples has you covered. A desk that's all business but not too businessy. Staples has you covered with remote workspace solutions. And now at Staples, save 25% on all desks, storage and filing products, chair mats, lighting, decor, and desk accessories when you buy a chair. Explore solutions for your remote workspace at Staples. The working and learning store ends 10-29. In-store only, exclusions apply. Let me guess. Unknown caller? You could reduce the number of unwanted calls and emails with online privacy protection. The latest innovation from Discover will help regularly remove your personal info, like your name and address, from 10 popular people search websites that could sell your data. And we'll do it for free. Activate in the Discover app. See terms and learn more at discover.com slash online privacy protection. 
Fall is the in-between season, in between summer and winter, in between flip-flops and puffy parkas, and in between soaring heat and frigid cold, which makes it the perfect season to upgrade your comfort with special financing offers and rebates on a new high-efficiency heating and cooling system from Train, including a whole house air filtration system to keep the air you breathe clean and safe. Visit Train.com to find an independent Delaware Valley Train Comfort Specialist near you. It's hard to stop a train. Subject to credit approval. See dealer for details. Hey, it's Jen Scordo. Now's the perfect time to download FanDuel in partnership with Valley Forge. Go ahead. Do it now. It's America's number one sports book. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's free bets back if your first bet doesn't win. Just sign up using my promo code SCORDO. Let's look at the Chiefs at San Francisco. Jimmy G on the over for passing yards. KC to cover. And a Mahomes anytime touchdown. You know you're going to get that. And with live betting, you can get updates on odds on games that have already started. And most importantly, when you win, you get paid super fast. It's all on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. Sign up using my promo code SCORDO for your no-sweat first bet. That's promo code SCORDO. And make every moment more this season with FanDuel, the official sportsbook partner of the NFL. 21 plus and present in PA. First online real money wager only. Refund issued as non-withdrawable free bets that expire in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hi, guys. It's Andrew with Oak. Hills Medical Clinic. Are you struggling with ED and sick of the pills? Well, we have a major medical breakthrough that has helped thousands of men. Our wave technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including from Cambridge University. It's proven to increase blood flow by repairing blood vessels. No pills and no side effects. If you're ready to put a stop to your ED and turn back the clock in the bedroom, call us now. And not only will the assessment and blood flow ultrasound be free, we'll also include something unique that produces immediate results in the bedroom. I don't think I've ever heard of it failing. This offer is worth $600, but it's free to those that call in the next two minutes. 215-302-9999. That's 215-302-9999. Guys, put a stop to your ED and get your love life back. Call Oak Hills Medical Clinic now to qualify for this unprecedented offer. 215-302-9999. Hey, this is Brian, and I'm the owner of Valley Grove Construction. We're expanding our team and hiring skilled and creative carpenters. As a company that truly values its talented carpenters, we prove it with top dollar pay starting at $30 an hour, an aggressive 401k plan, a generous vacation package, paid holidays, and even a $100 weekly travel allowance. You heard me right. That's over $5,000 a year to help with gas and vehicle expenses. If you're tired of not working with great people or just not doing the skilled work that you're capable of, then apply today at valleygroveconstruction.com. That's valleygroveconstruction.com and click the Join Our Team link. Adam Schefter plays on one station in Philly, 97.5. The Fanatic. Love it. Cashmere coming back. This is absolutely beautiful. 610-632-0975. The last time the Philadelphia Phillies advanced this far, or had a chance to advance this far even, that man hit five home runs in the impending World Series. It would be a loss to the New York Yankees with Chase Utley. Uh, an incredible series, individually at least, uh, for that one. And hopefully the Phillies will take care of business today against the San Diego Padres. They will go to a World Series, and maybe we will see someone else have a vintage World Series performance, hopefully in a win this time. But that's a lot we're getting ahead of ourselves. It's Connor Thomas, Tom Alvord. We are uh, heading into a great pregame show with Anthony Gargano and Andrew Salchunas from Xfinity Live. That comes up at 11. And as we go ahead and inch closer to first pitch, we're going to round out today's show for us to just uh, talking a little bit about something that's on the horizon, and it's not the weather. Now, if, if you're not familiar with the weather, too, we've mentioned it a, a couple times. Looks like rain is predicted around 4 p.m. in Philadelphia. Uh, could affect the end of the game. Could affect the middle of the game, depending on how heavy the rain is at 4 when it trickles in. Doesn't look like it's too heavy until like 7 p.m., uh, what I'm seeing on the radar, but of course I'm the weatherman, and even if I was, I'd be wrong 90% of the time. So, uh, don't know, but I'd imagine they're going to do everything in their power to play through it without having the off day. Like, it would have to pour for them to not get this game all the way in. And 
I don't see a situation where they like stop the game and resume it tomorrow. Uh, here, here's the thing, right? There's no day off, so it can't be like they can't push the game that late, though. Like, let's say it rains till 10 p.m. and can they resume the game at like 10:30 p.m. if it goes that long with a West Coast game the next day and flights having to be made and stuff like that? The whole series changes, and that's that's part of the impending problem. I hope what I hope is the Phillies get out to an early lead. Uh, they coast through uh, a little bit of weather in the back half, maybe around like the fifth inning, close everything down and get the heck out of there. Shades of uh, what would have happened if they actually finished game five against the Tampa Bay Rays in the 2008 World Series. So that's your uh, your weather report from uh, Connor inside. I know I do Connor outside for the John K. show in the morning, but uh, for me sitting here at this uh, desk behind this microphone, that's what I'm seeing. How worried are you about the weather, Tom? Um, definitely, it, definitely worried. I am just because, listen, it's so unpredictable. As you mentioned, even if you were a weather person, it's hard to predict the future. And that is what they are doing, predicting the future. Um, I'm looking at it right now. It seems like it's not hitting. And now this is saying not till like five o'clock, this is going to hit. So obviously Wheeler and Darvish going against each other on the mound, Last game that they faced each other, game one, went by very quickly. I would think if it turns into the pitcher's duel that we think we're going to get, um, it's going to go by very quickly as well. But it seems like this is more of a late eve or early evening, I guess, kind of rain rather yeah. than an all-day kind of rain like yeah. some were thinking. Um, yeah, as long as it doesn't mess with Wheeler uh, and uh, how many innings he can go. As I mentioned, what, a segment or two ago, if – Wheeler goes three innings and then the rain hits out of nowhere and it's an hour and a half delay. He's not going to go out there again for the fourth inning. And that's an issue because then you yeah. have a bullpen game again for two days in a row. This is the second damn game this postseason that Wheeler's had issue with rain. He had the one down yep. in Atlanta that they pushed it back like in 30 minutes, an hour, yep. whatever it ended up being. Or no, longer than that even. Uh, it was like three hours because it, yeah. like, it was supposed to be 430 start and then I think 730 is when they ended up getting done. So, yeah, yeah. three hours. And that yeah. messes with that because pitchers are such a routine. You know, you pitched in college. Yes. You have you follow such a routine game day right before your start. You know, you have everything set in stone, what you're doing right. for the most like part. Like I'd wake up and I'd eat two sausage, egg and cheese McGriddles. <laughs> so I go wander around in the outfield during BP like yeah. you have a routine. Yeah. I, Some I, are better than others. I'm sure Wheeler's doing the exact same thing. Um, he's having that breakfast now. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're such a, a, a routine-type players, uh, pitchers, or baseball players in general, but especially pitchers. If anything messes with their mojo, messes with their routine, it could potentially affect their performance negatively. So that's all I'm really worried about. Listen, if the, it's, it's not going to be a high-scoring game, in my opinion. You're probably not going to get a ton of homers. I don't think the ball is going to be flying out of the ballpark, going to be carrying a ton with this cooler weather with the rain. So it's going to be a small ball type of day, but – as long as Wheeler doesn't get affected and miss time or not be able to go his full start because of the rain, that's then I'm feeling pretty good. That's all I'm really worried about is if it messes with how many innings he can go today. And I, right. I don't think that's going to be the case today, at least. No, hopefully they'll be able to get most of the game in before that uh, that rain does roll into the area. Now, 610-632-0975. We're going to have good vibes to, to round out the show, but I do have a little bit of concern. I was just talking to uh, Ray. Uh, who's on the board uh, helping us out. Uh, I was talking to him about it during the break. If, and I don't see them losing today, but if the Philadelphia Phillies somehow do not come out with the victory in this game, the road gets a little bit treacherous from here. Uh, yeah, definitely. Last night was a great comeback win. It was awesome. Like the Bryce Harper scream from second base that we've mentioned multiple times, the big JT home run, Reese two home runs, Kyle Schwarber a bomb to center field. Like it was it was a really, really fun game once you got past the the top of the first inning. But what that game was, that was the unload the tank game. Unintentionally so. But that was the game that you normally look at at an elimination game. Like, okay, we've either got a team on the ropes or we're on the ropes. We're going bullpen in the first. We're going bullpen in the second. We're going bullpen in every damn inning, and we're using up all our guys because we have to. It was kind of unintentionally that for both teams yesterday because Bailey Falter was not good, and Clevenger was worse. And now you're looking at a situation where if they don't win today, you're going back to San Diego without a day of rest, with very, very minimal availability in the bullpen, impending what even happens today. It, let's say it rains. 
and Zach Wheeler's got to be done. And let's say the rain kicks in in the fourth, and Zach Wheeler's day's over after like a two hour delay. You got five more innings of bullpen today with two more games potentially in San Diego. Like, and this is not, I'm worried about the Phillies losing today. This is, hey, this game is super important. It's not just, hey, we have a 3 1 lead. This is gravy if we get it. No, this is a very, very important game for them to win. Today. Yeah, because you have no interest at all in going back to San Diego. And I believe even if they do go back to San Diego, I said Phillies in six before the series started. I have enough confidence that Aaron Nola can rebound from his poor performance in Game 2, go out there, and I have confidence that he'd be able to win you a Game 6, even if it is on the road. But, man, you want to keep this in Philadelphia. You don't even want to risk anything, test that out at all, test that theory out at all in going back to San Diego. So, yeah, today's game is obviously a massive game. And then real quick on the weather, I'm looking at it. I think the rain's supposed to be done by 1, and then it doesn't start up again until after 5. So I think the Phillies should be good. I think Wheeler should be good at least to go his full um, – have his go with as many innings as they need him today. At least as of now, things can change, but it's more so pressure on Zach Wheeler. And I listen, I have full confidence in Zach Wheeler. I know the Phillies do too. And I know you out there listening have confidence in Zach Wheeler, but that's the biggest thing because listen, if he goes out and has an Aaron Nola type start and he's out in the third inning, or even if the rain messes with him, whatever, then yeah, you're asking a ton for your bullpen. That was pretty spent yesterday. You're probably looking at Kyle Gibson getting some innings today. And I know none of us want that here in Philadelphia. So yeah, the more it's more pressure on Wheeler to go out there. Listen, get us at least six. You have Alvarado available. You have Dominguez available. One of those guys can probably go multiple innings if they have to. So all pressure mm-hmm. points to the offense, obviously, because right. the offense has to step up and, and take care of business against you Darvish. But listen, man, you're Zach Wheeler. You're a hundred and what? $120 million man. You are the ace of this staff. You are the best pitcher in baseball. As you mentioned, Connor Thomas, he is in your eyes. Go out there and just do what you've been doing. Be that dominant Zach Wheeler that we've come to know and love here in Philadelphia. Go out there and get this thing done. Shut this series down. Step on the throats of the San Diego Padres. And I have all the confidence in the world. If he gets the opportunity because of weather, that he's going to go out there and be able to do it. Yeah, and when I say best pitcher in baseball, I mean like at the current time. I understand Verlander was unbelievable this year. Uh, I, I get that Zach Wheeler is not in the Cy Young conversation really because of the injury and everything. But right now, I think he is the best pitcher in Baseball. Yeah, he's got what, like a one five ERA, I think, in the playoffs. Yeah, he's, so far? He's, he's been absolutely unbelievable, and that should be zero because those runs that he were scored against him in Atlanta yeah. should have been unearned Correct. because yep. of what should have been an error on Reese Hoskins. And he, now, and, and sorry, real quick, if yeah. if Hoskins doesn't make that error in game, what was it, game two of that series? Yes. Um, Zach Wheeler was had fifty eight pitches through five innings. He's probably going eight innings that game. So yeah. that's just how he was as good as I've seen Zach Wheeler that day, and he's been as good as as I've seen Zach Wheeler this entire stretch down the playoffs. So, yeah, all the confidence in the world in that guy. Very much so. Now, uh, again, we are on YouTube. Uh, You can go ahead and check us out. Uh, MBDBDBDBF, or uh, Alphabet Soup, uh, as I I refer. Uh, The great YouTuber, always long, always giving uh, good comments and everything. I appreciate the listen, appreciate the following on YouTube as always, but a little upset with me. Says uh, positive vibes, man. What the hell is happening about me talking potential bad things for the Philadelphia Phillies? And we will have positive vibes the rest of the way. I wanted to bring that up. And the other thing to make you feel a little bit more comfortable, if you're like, why is Connor jinxing them? Well, I don't know if you remember, Tom, but in uh, game two against the Cardinals, we came on these airwaves together and I said, man, this just feels like a loss to me. Uh, this just feels yes, like, uh, I remember that. yeah, it's going, it's going to go three and one of those. Uh, I mean, in the clinching game against the Braves, I was nervous. In game one against the Braves in Atlanta, uh, I was very nervous. Thought that was a tough spot to play. Yeah, when I think, uh, when I get worried about the Phillies, normally that's when they perform really, really well. So uh, I wouldn't be too worried yeah, keep about that worry up over there. Me, me jinxing them. And that's the thing. I'm, I'm a pre-game warrior. I'm not an in-game warrior. Because like we talked about, I, I think we'll know really quick today what type of game this is going to be. Whether it's going to be a dogfight and we get good you Darvish against good Zach Wheeler and it's one of those 2 nothing games like we saw in Game 1. Whether it's what we saw against the Atlanta Braves in the series clinching game of the NLDS at Citizens Bank Park where it was kind of like, oh, yeah, this, this building's rocking and this team feels it and they know how close they are and no one's beating them today. We're going to get that feeling early. And I think it's going to be closer to the latter. I, I really do. I think that with... The chance to eliminate a team. By the way, the Philadelphia Phillies with a chance to send somebody home, 2-0 this postseason. It's pretty good. It's about as good as you can be, yeah, right? Yep. They're good at stepping on a team's throat in the series so far. Especially at home. Especially, Especially at home. Especially at home. Which is the biggest thing. If you can... 
Yeah, and, and listen, it, it's the it's the formula to every baseball game. If you can hit a, get some runs early, obviously, jump on you, Darvish, early, get out to some kind of a lead, even if it's one nothing, 2 nothing, something like that. Zach Wheeler does Zach Wheeler things, continues to be the incredible pitcher that he's been his entire tenure here, but specifically this postseason run. Then San Diego's gripping the bites, bats a little bit tighter. Then they're feeling it. If it's fourth inning and they're down 2 nothing, and Wheeler's dealing, he's got 40 pitches through four or something like that, and Darvish has given up some runs, then it's it's not really playing with that pressure in a good way, the San Diego Padres. Then right. they're, like I mentioned, they're they're – then they're starting to feel the pressure. Then it's like, oh, wow, we're actually – we're done here. That's what it is. So mm-hmm. fast starts are crucial to every game, but specifically a game where you have Zach Wheeler on the mound and the San Diego Padres backs are against the wall. Yes, and this is also one of those environments. Uh, I don't think they'll really think this, but part of their minds are going to say it. It's, it's just natural. The San Diego Padres are going to hear introductions today, and there's going to be part of them that when they hear that crowd at Citizens Bank Park, they're like, oh, we're done. That, now, they'll fight through it, and that's not a guarantee that the game's over from the jump. I don't know if they'll say, well, done. I think they're there, going to say to themselves, there, this is a tough... There will be part of them after last night's game. There will be a voice in the back of some of those players' heads when they hear that crowd go nuts that you can hear from miles away. Say, oh, man, yeah, we're done. We have no shot in this right now. Yeah. And, um, and they'll be able to put it out of their minds because sure. they're professionals, they're good ball players. It doesn't mean that they're going to get their show run today or anything like that, but... This crowd will have that effect from the, from the get-go. And the only way you overcome that is if they get out to a good start. If you put your foot on their throat early, it'll be what happened to the Braves. And that was an absolute party. 610-632-0975. Let's switch coasts and go t- back to the phones and talk to Ben in L.A. who wants to talk a little Phils. Ben, you're on 97.5 The Finale. Guys, I'm actually on in um, L.A., but I'm from Montgomery County. Oh, okay, Montgomery cool, man. County. What are you doing out there? I'm um, doing theme parks, and um, I'm repping the Phillies out here. Um, I'm hoping the Phillies go to the World Series. Um, I've seen a lot of Padre fans, so I say, go Phillies, and it's, it's fun repping the Phillies out in L.A. Oh, that's awesome, man. That, that, that's great. Well, yeah, speaking of theme parks, it's been a roller coaster for the Phillies this, uh, this postseason, but it looks like we're, uh, we're near the end of this, uh, this NLCS, so hopefully it's yeah. a win today. Yes, I agree. Uh, I had a quick question for you. Do you know if there's any... Uh, places out in LA that you know that has like a Philly sport, sports bar out there. I don't, man. I I haven't made it to the West Coast ever before, so uh, I, I'm not aware of that. I'm sure you could probably like look stuff up. I, most places have the Philly fan base travels so well that most places have a bunch of transplants and things like that. Uh, so I'm sure you'll be able to uh, to go ahead and figure yeah. something out there, but I don't know off the top of my head. Sorry about that, Benny. I'm gonna go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame today and go to Bubba. I was at Bubba Gump watching the game. So oh, that's maybe awesome. I'll- let me know if you see if they've put in Bryce Harper's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame yet, because he deserves one after the way he's played so far. Oh, my gosh. That would be great. That would be great. That would be great. Um, but I think they're going to win the World Series. I think they're going to go all the way. And um, I'm friends with the Cubs and Tudis, and they're just great guys, too. Yeah, yes. And appreciate the call, Ben. I hope you're right. I hope they do go to the uh, – to the World Series and win it. And uh, Cousin Tunis are coming up in just a few short minutes from Xfinity Live to get you even more uh, more revved up and ready to go. For... If that's even possible for the people out there. Oh, it's possible. Yeah, probably. We've got another gear. And I'll tell you what, God bless the city of Philadelphia. Yes. Because they're already greasing the polls. I saw that. Not only They were the... doing it yesterday, before yesterday's yes. game. Not only are the polls getting greased, I think that's because it's the weekend night game Yeah, as well, but not only are the polls getting greased, but it's going to rain. It's going to be sloppy. It's going to be messy. Yes, it is. It could be a little bit of a delay, which means a bunch of people trapped in Citizens Bank Park drinking and a bunch of people at bars around the city drinking and a bunch of you down at Xfinity Live if you don't go into the game with Cousin the Tunis drinking. And this city is going to be raucous. I, I'll, I'll say... Um, a great clip from Brandon Marsh, ahead of the Phillies' first home playoff game against the Atlanta Braves, was he was he was asked about the environment because uh, he'd never played in a playoff game sure. before. Uh, of course, none of them have played in a home playoff game at Citizens Bank Park before. There was a great clip of him saying, "I've been warned it might get a little rowdy." Yeah, it's a good it, warning. Yes. It might get a little rowdy today too, and I'm absolutely here for it. It's going to be awesome. And uh, we got a couple minutes left. Let's uh, go back to the phones and take take some more reaction because we got Ari in Warminster who's uh, who's waiting to talk about the Phils. Thinks it's a low scoring game. Ari, you're on 97.5 The Fanatic. Hey, what's going on, guys? 
It's good, um, old man. Yeah, I, I'm excited for. I think the Phillies win this game, but yeah, you got to remember too. It's it's you, Darvish, on the mound. It's their ace. He's a veteran. Uh, it's it's the right guy for them to pitch this game in a tough environment. So I, I don't see the Phillies scoring early. I would love it, but I don't see that happening. Uh, I'm going to say, you know, one one and a half times through, Darvish pitches well and then he's going to end up making a mistake at some point, just like he did in game one, which he's known to do. And I think we're going to get a couple of bombs, you know, in those middle innings, like fifth, sixth innings. And uh, you know what else is huge, too? I mean, you guys said it. Not having to use Alvarado, and obviously Sir Anthony was probably not available yesterday, but not having to use Alvarado in the eighth or ninth with getting those extra runs, that was absolutely huge to set it up for today. Yeah, and you probably have Robertson today available as well because I don't believe he pitched the game before yesterday. So I think he's available. And I think, listen, I think most of those guys are going to be available. Not that you need them. Like, Bilotti really didn't throw a ton of innings. Eflin could potentially be available. Yeah, for them to get the win yesterday in the way they did and not use their top two guys, man, it sets you up perfect for today. Le- legit, sets you up perfectly for this closeout game potentially today. Yeah, I agree. And I think I can definitely see Eflin, you know, Eflin – is a guy he'll he'll pitch no matter what. Robertson will see. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind not seeing Robertson today, although he did pitch well last night. Uh, but how about a shout out to Connor Brogdon? I mean, he looked Huge. great before he went out with COVID. But the, those, I know he gave up the run, and he, you know, uh, the the inherited runner, if you will. But that's yes. still on Bailey Falter. But those two innings, the second and third that he pitched to kind of settle things down. I mean, that was, I thought it was going to be Syndergaard right there, who actually really pitched well in the sixth as well. But the, those guys, I mean, and Bellotti pitched great too. I mean, I, you can't say enough about those guys who we've kind of criticized most of the year. But uh, Brogdon really came up huge. I wanted to make sure that, you know, he got yeah. his, his due because he was huge yesterday. He totally deserves it, Ari. And appreciate the call, man. You enjoy the, uh, the enjoy rest the game, of the day. Man. Enjoy the game. Yeah, Connor Brogdon, believe it or not, threw the most pitches of any pitcher in the Philadelphia Phillies staff last night. And I believe pitches. that was the most of his career. I think they were talking as the game was going on that his high was like 29 or something in his entire career. And he goes out and throws in that kind of spot. The most innings are pitches of his career in one particular game. It's the little guys stepping up. It's not just the Harpers. And they're stepping up too. I think he's pretty too. tall. It is the, uh, the lower name guys, if you will, jerk. Uh, oh, so going Con- out there. So Connor's a lower name now? Yes, it's the yeah, lowest, could, absolute lowest on the I totem I could get you pole. anyway on this. Okay. Um, you're, you're right. It, right. It, it is those guys. It is the role it's players are stepping up. Now, let's real quick give our predictions before we hand things over to Cousin Chunis. Uh, I'll start. Low-scoring game? Uh, I don't even really know. I think the Padres get a little bit nervous because the Phillies get to Darvish early. I think they've got a quick trigger because it is an elimination game for them. And I have a 5-1 win for the Philadelphia Phillies. Okay. Wow. I would love that. Um... I'm feeling confident. I'm not feeling as confident score-wise, I guess you could say. I think it's going to be ugly. I think it's going to be sloppy. I think that weather's going to be brutal. I don't think we're going to get a ton of hits. It's not going to be as enjoyable uh, aesthetically of a game because of the lack of scoring. I believe it is a stressful game. I believe it is a low-scoring game. But the Phillies find a way to get it done. You have your back-end bullpen guys. Like I mentioned, Zach Wheeler pitches awesome today. He maybe gives up a run or two. But I believe the Phillies win this one 3-2. to two. And, Connor, we're going to the World Series. That would be awesome. Well, that's all our time. Thank you to everyone who called, tweeted, listened, watched on YouTube. Thank you, Tom, for being along for the ride, as always. Thank you, Ray, for producing, and Haley for running the YouTube. Man, we got Fightin's Baseball coming up later, and Cousin Shunis are getting you just ready for it. You'll talk to them next on 97.5 The Fanatic. 97.5 The Fanatic. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty. That the place of business is safe for you to shop in because they are making a profit from you. That's the law. Yet many times a normal day ends with injuries because that business breached that duty because they knew or should have known of the dangerous condition that caused your injury.